dude. Oh, yeah, dude. That's the fucking ticket, man. That's the fucking ticket, dude. Grip it and fucking rip it, dude. <laughs> you got, sometimes you just gotta grip it and fucking rip it, dude. You gotta crack open that fucking cold one, dude. Yeah, dude. That was just coffee. What is that? What does that mean? What is it? You grip it, and then you rip it. <laughs> you rip off the thing. What are you guys, dumb? What? What are you? What are you, stupid? You rip it open. The can. I can't be the only one saying this. Nah. No, nah, brother. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna let you do this to me. I'm not gonna let you leave me out here. Tomatoes sounding real wet today. I was excited to play a good game because I actually today was kind of like a like a roller coaster. Chat. Today was kind of a roller coaster. No, I get what they mean. Don't question mark. I get what they mean. You guys are so you guys are so jumpy today. What's up? Is Saturn plump or something? What's your deal? You I get what they meant and I fucking picked up what they were putting down fucking instantly and you guys look like, like come on. What's your problem? <laughs> like, this is a you problem. Cause I got it. I got it instantly. It's spooky month. Yeah, and in honor of spooky month, I wanted to play that new shooter that came out, Cultic. But um, I ended up not. I played like a level of it. It's really good didn't click for me not for not for a stream uh i like my boomer shooter fps's but i think the better ones for stream are ones with really fucking uh like banger map design and the first level which is i would say the most important level to show your stuff on a shooter like an old school shooter uh, is um, you know you you wanna you wanna show that you've got you've got good design. Dusk did it. Uh, obviously, going into cultic, everyone's comparing it to Blood, which I would argue is the best boomer. Not it's not even a boomer shooter. It's just one of the best old school shooters of like the late '90s. I think it's one of, if not the best, like sprite one. In my opinion, I think that one's fucking absolute gold standard for like map design and like me like combat mechanics. I fucking love that one. I love blood. Uh, and obviously everyone's gonna compare that cultic game to blood, as was I. The map design just wasn't there. It just wasn't there. It was way too open. It was like the whole first level was like gigantic super vistas and shit. And I was just like, it's just too safe. It needs to be like, it's not, there's no reason to care about using like, cause the, the thing is cultic has this gameplay design in it where like you light dynamite, you can throw it around corners. Blood did the same thing. However, the reason blood had it was because enemies could hit scan you fucking instantly. Uh, they could bop you from around a corner. So you'd light dynamite and you throw it around a corner because then you could, you'd be able to kill something from around a corner, it wouldn't get a free hit on you. Uh, in this game, everything's so open that the dynamite mechanics don't even feel necessary. I don't know why they're, they don't feel like they're, it's not that the game is bad. I, it's just like, it feels like it took the wrong inspirations from blood and didn't take the parts of it that made those inspirations feel right. Is my streamer going to play Scorn tomorrow? I was hoping they'd give it to me today. <laughs> Yeah, I'll probably, I'll either play it tomorrow or play it Saturday. It depends on if I want to, like, play the whole thing or play three hours of it, essentially. Because, uh, yeah, I won't have time to beat it all in one sitting or anything really meaningful tomorrow, considering I only have, like, three hours for d d That's kind of my issue. Uh, it's not a good sign when they don't let people stream it early, IMO. 
I get it for indie games sometimes. I truly do. I don't get it with AAA games. Uh, because they know they're going to sell regardless. But I truly do sometimes get it with indie games because of the fact that sometimes these games can be short. And having your entire game shown a day early when people are less inclined to buy indie games than they are AAA games for some reason in this culture still. Uh, I do kind of get it. Like genuinely I do. I think it's case by case, but for a game like Scorn, where truly the only value it has is in its art style, from what I've gathered, and it's like campaign, like shock value of what it's showing, uh, releasing it early is a mistake. Uh, giving it to people super early to play through the whole thing live is a mistake, and I do get it. So, yeah, not a big deal, man. Either way, instead of playing Cultic today, we're gonna play the other game that came out today that I was going to use as my backup. Agony was Agony. I didn't play Agony. But I definitely remember getting a code for Agony. And then... Wait, no, I did play Agony. I played Agony for like an hour on my own because I was like, this game looks like shit. And it was shit. It was total beans. That game sucked. So bad. Yeah, I hope that Scorn is better than that. But I didn't come into... I'm not coming into Scorn when I play it. The same way a lot of people are with like, oh, I gave it money when it was a Kickstarter nine years ago. I played like the fucking playtest. I saw it once on a preview on like fucking Game Informer or some shit. 500 years ago and, and they said it was coming out the next year and then I forgot it existed and I think I may have even believed Agony was Scorn at one point. So like that's kind of where I'm at is I got I got confused I got confused instead Get Game Flied Game Informer it's the GameStop magazine I had a magazine subscription to it when I was like fucking, when I was a child. Then I instinctively was like conditioned to trust it over IGN for my gaming news for the next 10 years. Not a bad trade. A game magazine subscription. Well, that's the thing about, that's the interesting thing about game magazine subscriptions is I don't know how they make money because I know for a fact I wasn't paying them. <laughs> they were just sending me the magazines. There was no, there was never any money. It's mostly ads, I guess. They were just sending me fire, like stuff to fuel fires and stuff in my house at my old fireplace. I would burn those magazines. I, I would if I could. They had a lot of paper in them. Arson. The Game Informer fumes. The, the fumes, dude. The toxic fumes. The fumes of the gaming, dude. I'm pretty sure that's how you get cancer. But you only said pretty sure, Bozo. You only, you could only reach pretty sure. What are you a doctor? You a cop? I'm sure it's how you get doctor. Okay, now produce your doctor in medicine. Now. Only 95% sure there's no way that'll give you cancer by XCOM rules. Dude. I, every day I want to play XCOM again for stream, and then I remember that after about five hours of playing XCOM, the game isn't fun. And then I stop. It's so... Dude, I think I'm the only person I know that's able to think critically deeper into a game that I want to play and say, after exactly six hours, this won't be fun anymore. And it stops me from playing so many games like picking up games again, because I know there's a reason 
chat. I finish games to completion a lot. So if I have a game that I've fallen off of five times, but every time I look back and I say, God, that was fun. I want to play that again. I just think to the exact thing that made me stop. I feel really powerful whenever I do it. Because there's a lot of games out there where like, I like them on paper, but everyone knows you're never making it past like 12 hours if you don't fucking actually truly love it. Ugh. It's like me with like certain kinds of like, sometimes I'm like, I wanna play Minecraft. I wanna play modded Minecraft. And then it's like one with like tech in it, like any kind of technology, any kind of piping of any kind. And I know I'm never making it past the piping section. I'm gonna get to the piping section and say, it'd be really cool to have all this pipe work. And then it won't work. One thing will slow me down for a second. I'll have to read one page of a book in Minecraft and I will Alt F4 and uninstall it. Instantly, I will instantly do it. No matter how many times I say to myself, this is it. <laughs> this is the one where I do this right. I will instantly Alt F4 and uninstall. Create is the only reason I was able to do it in Rustic Waters was because it was a server and Dave therefore was able to help me. If I was alone, that would have been the part where I uninstalled the, the mod pack. Second, I had to hook up create pipes and fucking conveyor belts. And Dave didn't even help with that part, dude. I'm not, I'm gonna be f honest. Dave got the materials at some point, but the building of that machine was all me. It was all me. Okay. What even is this screenshot? Let me explain. We're playing a detective game. It's from what I've gathered from playing like the first level and like looking up stuff for it. This could be one of the big ones of the year. This could be like Hypnospace Outlaw tier brain blasting. This could be on that level. Uh, it's seeming pretty good so far. From what I've looked at and from what I've like, from what I've personally played. This is Oberdin tier game. Very somewhat similar, but a little bit more, uh, I would say more digestible than Oberdin. I think Oberdin, at least as far as streaming was concerned, was one of the most fucking, like it was just a brick wall trying to understand that fucking game or for like a stream as a viewer. This one's a lot more digestible, I think, uh, because it comes in like episodes. Like you're going into a much smaller slice of a mystery and you're solving that. So like you get given like two or three maps per like mystery and you're like, okay, solve these, solve this thing. Find out what happened here using like some prompts we've given you. Put names to these faces and connect the dots. And that's like basically the game is like looking at the map that you've been given, looking at all the clues in it, sort of like a scavenger hunt on the screen, followed by going through all the evidence and then finding out, oh, hey, who is the guy on fire? Like, that's the actual question. It's not like fully like, it, what happened? It's who's the guy on fire? So it is a little Oberdin in that you need to get like the names of the people and stuff. And as time goes on, you're getting the names of like 14 people at a time. The game even has a built-in hint system, which I always like because I'd rather take my hints from the game than any of you, God knows. But as far as I'm concerned, if I don't play this today, uh, it will be unbelievably miserable to play on stream as people play it themselves, as people watch me play it today and say, I'm gonna buy this cause it looks fun and then catch up to me and like outpace me within 20 minutes of me playing uh, and then are spamming the answer to me. So. Yeah, I gotta get I gotta get out of the gate. I already know the first parts are all uh, from the demo as well that was available a little bit ago. I've had access to this game for about a month, uh, but they gave me the they gave me a review code 
but it's like one of those things where it's like, yeah, you gave me a review code, but you also said I'm not allowed to stream it until the game comes out. So I had a review code. I've been able to play this game, but their embargo was the day of the game coming out. So I was just kind of looking at it on Steam for the last month and being and like kind of shrugging. That happens a lot. That happens, that happens a lot. You'll get, you'll get a, like, don't open this until Christmas. Yeah, you'll get basically that where it's like, don't fucking touch this. You can, but you can't stream it. This isn't, these keys are for reviewers. You're just included in the same mailing list, idiot. Don't open the game. I swear to God, I didn't even, I didn't open it. I opened it like just today to test it. Make sure it ran. Clearly it was for your Tomato Reviews YouTube channel. Every day of my life I consider making that YouTube channel, dude. Fuck yeah, bro. People love my reviews of games. People definitely don't question mark whenever I say anything about a video game, ever. They love my opinions. They love my opinions. They don't get mad ever when I say things. Uh -huh. Comments have been disabled. You don't even, dude, the trick is to not read the comments. They already disabled dislikes. YouTube's nicer than ever. There hasn't been any outrage regarding anything I've said according to the like meter on my VOD channel in a year. The people have never been happier. So I assume. And trust me, if they were unhappy, I'd never know. Because I'm never scrolling down. Good luck getting something that appears on the first page of the fucking video, dude. Because I'm not scrolling down. I don't do that. Can creators see dislikes? You have to go into like your analytics and I don't know why anyone would do that ever. I don't know why anyone would do that. People are still commenting on the WoW video asking where he went. Wrong, that WoW video has been unlisted for a year. Unless YouTube relisted it. Did YouTube relist it? Cause boy then, I have some egg on my face, huh? If YouTube relisted the video, cause I unlisted it a long time ago. I'm going to assume if it's not unlisted, I'm gonna unlist it right now. <laughs> cause uh, dude, I've been seeing postings that Blizzard's gonna announce Overwatch 3 any minute now. There's a high chance. God knows, God knows if the uh, if, there, if there's ever been any kind of trend between something bad happening news-wise with Blizzard and then them announcing something to try to hide it, they've run out of things. They had to start making things up now. Because uh, once again, something bad has happened. Some bad news has come out regarding Blizzard. And once again, Blizzard has to find something to talk about. They can't make another Overwatch. That is, I think, the side effect of Blizzard doing this Overwatch 2 thing. And I think it is truly that Overwatch is dead after this. I don't think they can launch another Overwatch, ever. I think the memeing of this one, of Overwatch 2, has fucked them so bad on this brand in the future that no one will, that, like, people will, like, it will affect, like, people will still buy it, obviously, but it's gonna affect, like, the perception of a sequel any kind of real sequel i really like overwatch 2 what's so bad about it it's overwatch 1 i think overwatch 1 is a good game overwatch 2 is overwatch 1 with less uh slots on a map it is the same game it is literally an update and that's not a bad thing it's free i'm not going to complain about free but i think the Battle Pass in it, now that I've like played it a little bit more on my own, is 
uh, comically bad, uh, like truly insulting. But good news is I don't care about skins in my game, so I'll never give Blizzard a cent of my money. They're, they're not getting any money out of me. They never will. Uh, so I don't feel too bad about that. But I did find it funny that they killed Bastion. That was fun. Because I was playing a little bit yesterday with Dave uh, on my well, when I took the day off. And um, Bastion's gone. Apparently he was broken. There was something wrong. But instead of patching him, they uh, just took him out of the game. They just grabbed him and pulled him out of the game. He was broken. But they didn't remove Torb. They didn't remove Torbjorn, who also is broken they just locked him out of competitive but in every quick play game we played there was some torbjorn doing double the damage of everyone else in the whole game because you can literally and i just i figured i literally found this bug the bug that is the reason he's not available in competitive casually like just turning him on in training i went on in training and i was like what's happening with torb that's making him so strong and I'll tell you what it fucking is. You press E and he activates a buff, okay? And if you press E again, when the buff says zero seconds, wouldn't you know it, it casts it again. So when the buff is active, you can press the button to rebuff as the buff is active, making the buff last twice as long. You'd think it's an easy fix. You'd think that's like, that's like one of the dumbest fucking bugs I've ever heard of. It's not like it did. It wasn't a hard thing to recreate. This was like a beep, beep, never fucked it up once. I tested it like four times. Beep, beep. Truly zero difficulty. You just, it's the easiest timing ever. It's really embarrassing. It's not designers making these changes, producers holding them at gunpoint. Yeah, but I mean, like... Torbjorn didn't have this error prior to this. People would have noticed. I don't know. I just don't know how that kind of error gets, like, pushed through. Because that's, like, not something that, some, like, wouldn't have been noticed in, like, the time people have been playing. Up until now. But, uh... Yeah, needless to say, I also did see Blizzard uh, refuse to give refunds for the glitch in their in-game purchases for skins that allows people while they're typing to their friends in Overwatch 2 using the in-game chat to accidentally purchase skins, which now do just cost money. To be clear, they do just cost money now. It is a it is a money payment it, and you can just press spacebar twice and confirm it. So if you're typing like a message and someone says, what's up, my guy? Do you want to party up? You've just bought five skins. And Blizzard said no refunds. And they said no fucking refunds, dude. They said no refunds. They were like, this is meant to be permanent. This is, this is a meant to, this is intended. This is the intended design. We're not just going to give them back. You, now that you have the skin, you've experienced the, you've experienced it. To take it back would be, it's impossible. Imagine making loot boxes seem tamer. Truly, dude, there's not a single moment so far where I haven't... I've been feeling dirtier playing Overwatch 2 and seeing the battle pass thing go up and tick up to the next tier than I ever felt getting a loot box and going like, I'm gonna crack that thing open and get like fucking a hundred worthless gold. Like, I, I truly feel dirtier using the battle pass. Like, I don't feel good like leveling up in it. I feel a little gross. At least they gave you loot boxes every once in a while. Every level up, brother. Every level up, man. The good old days. Look, loot boxes were predatory as shit. 
And in a spiteful attempt to make us like them again, they've added an even worse thing now into Overwatch 2. They've added an even worse thing. Hang on, Chad, I have a fucking... I need to answer this fucking phone call quick. Be right back. It was just an appointment reminder for my fucking doctor. It's okay. It's, they use the same number for the automated thing as they do for meaningful messages. So sometimes I'll get a call from them at like three and I'll be like, do I have to actually fucking answer this? Cause sometimes the play, like the places that I have to go for appointments and stuff will literally just be like, if you don't call me back in the next five minutes, we're actually going to cancel the whole thing. Which is always really fun. But anyways, Blizzard is definitely, uh, they, they, in a kind of spiteful play, they've made it, they've made the uh, battle pass more obnoxious than the loot boxes. I don't under, I, I can't, I, it's actually shocking. But at least, at least now you know what you're getting until you type in chat. At least now you always know what you're getting unless you make the big mistake of socializing on their online game. At which point you will not know what you're getting anymore. You'll start hearing purchases in the background. It's kind of like a loot box. That's kind of like a loot box, yeah. Now you can log in and do like a fun gambling challenge where you just hook your credit card into Overwatch and then type like the, type like, I don't know, some kind of prompt in or like make a challenge, just like type a bunch of stuff to your friends, have a full conversation, see how much money comes out at the end. That's a lot of fun. That'll be a good time. I feel bad for the poor fools who are new to Overwatch now and they have to play 150 games before they unlocked all the characters. Yeah, that's really bad. But here's the thing. Do they... Chat, if you buy the Battle Pass, do you unlock all the characters instantly? Or do you not? No? Yikes. It's like they don't want people to like Overwatch 2 anymore. They're doing the Valve tactic of making people think that they hate their, their own game. Just like TF2. They're gonna slowly add more and more things that make everyone believe that they don't really want to be paying for these servers anymore. They don't want to keep the game going. What's TF2? Ha 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 ha. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Titanfall 2. Another game tragically uh, underappreciated by their own publishers. <sighs> I don't think any game makes me quite as sad to think about as Titanfall 2. And the potential it had. I mean, it still did okay now, but Apex doomed any chance it had of ever getting a third one. The only thing that will result in Titanfall 3 is Apex's death, unfortunately. Sad. They release a second one too close to Overwatch? No, they release the second one on the same day as Battlefront or Battlefield 1 or whatever. That's what happened. Nothing to do with Overwatch. 
They released a second one on like the same day as another game competing with it made by the same publisher on the same like week. The publisher launched their own like competition. I don't think there will ever be a dumber business decision than that. EA's so dumb. They're dumber than dirt. They get paid so much money and yet they're they they they're drooling. I hate them. That's why I don't trust anything they make anymore. I <laughs> just they, they beef it so much. They beef it so fucking much. And 2042, like they can't, they always beef it. And they will beef it again. I have zero expectations for the new Dead Space. I just wrote, I don't. The only thing that's gonna lighten the blow of the new Dead Space remake being shit is that Callisto Protocol is gonna come out around the same time. To my knowledge. I'm pretty sure Callisto, what, how, when does the Dead Space remake actually release? January 27th? Okay, it comes out a little later. In classic EA fashion, I was expecting them to time the release for the Dead Space remake about a day next to Callisto Protocol, maybe a day before, just to cut in front of them in line. So it's cool of them to not have the balls to do that. That's very, that's polite of them at least, cause at this point I assume that EA only released games out of spite. At least Konami was like smart enough to be like, we suck now, we don't wanna do this. We're gonna spit out one more game to try to recoup some of our financial losses from making Metal Gear Solid 5. And then we're gonna just fucking, I don't know, stop. But EA just releases games kind of out of a hatred for the world and all those around them. FIFA will always sell. Dude. Didn't you hear? It says that EA doesn't even have the license for FIFA anymore, baby. They don't even have it anymore. There is no more FIFA, dude. EA, EA fucking lost it. EA has nothing. They have sports ball now. They have nondescript sports ball as a brand. EA beefed it for like four years straight making half-assed sequels for the FIFA games. And then eventually FIFA was just like, give it back. Give it back. Give it back now. All they have left is their Sims 4 expansions, dude. Sims 4 is free to play now, dude. No fucking way, dude. <laughs> no, no way, that's not true. Is that true? No shot. Sims make so much money for that. It is? You see, the reason they made it free to play, I bet, is because everyone owns The Sims 4 at this point that's ever going to buy The Sims expansions. So there's no reason. It's like giving away the base game after everyone already owns it. It's not really for anyone anymore. Everyone owns it. So they're just gonna give away the expansions, which total at like $1,000. It's like when Destiny 2 became free to play. Look, chat. I think more games should launch with the format. And maybe I'm maybe I'm a fool for believing in this. But I think if if businesses could get a little bit less fucking greedy with their like nickeling and diming of like 
cos like micro cosmetic bullshit and like mini things like mini small small little items and stuff they could instead do what games used to do which is give away the first part of a game or like make destiny a free-to-play thing at launch and then make the extra content dlc the same way something like blood released its first episode as a shareware thing and then the actual like d like episodes after were things you had to buy instead of making the entire model free to play and then making it miserable for everybody you can make it something like you know like guild wars 2 there are certain mmos and stuff to do it i think that more people could learn from that because i think it's a better i think it, i think it's better for consumers to buy a larger product up front, obviously, than fucking have to hope that, like, the devs aren't so... The publishers and devs aren't so greedy as to design the entire product in such a way that it's constantly siphoning money out of you. F like, to an extreme excess over what's actually, you know... At what it's actually worth. Dude, I'm excited to see your opinions on this game. Did you like it, Joe? What did you think of it? What was the, uh... What was your final verdict on this? Love it? I know I'm gonna like it. I know I'm gonna like it. I do want to get into it. I think. Why is that man on fire anyways? We're gonna have to fucking find out, aren't we? We're gonna have to fucking find out, aren't we? It's fucking time. I've had enough. I've had enough of this. That man is on fire. It's time. The case of the golden idol. All right. That is Among Us. What the? Oh, fuck, you're right. It kind of does look like it a little bit. If I squint, if I squint and have like a, and my brain starts to leak a little bit. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, <laughs> New game. Dude, imagine being some kind of fucking weirdo that literally when the game says, please pick the highlighted version where you don't have to pixel hunt. Some fucking guy takes a long, like just drag out of a cigarette and goes, I want to fucking spend the rest of my goddamn life on this mystery. I want to actually go crazy. I want to go crazy. I want to be miserable. No highlights. All clickable icons are gone. <laughs> I want to never solve this case. I want to retire with unresolved regrets. An abrupt termination of contract. Oh my god! Um, hey, what's your problem? Save him. Chad, I'm, just, I'm a box. I actually, there's not much I can do to save him. We're gonna have to look into the details of this one, chat. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to figure out what happened. So for context, the way this game works is you collect hints from the environment and then you put together the scroll. When the scroll is correctly completed the level is over so blank pushed blank from a cliff in the blank of blank on monkey paw island it hits i knew what you were plotting you snake he had on him a dagger i'm glad he just let me walk up to him this guy just let me walk up to him and like start checking his pockets. Well, after he put, very clearly pushed this guy. 
I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell the cops about this afterwards. Uh, pipe. January 5th, 1742. Both parties agree to these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Clodgley has rights to two-thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Auburn Jeller has rights to one-third of all valuables and any golden statues found. Golden statues. The golden idol. The golden statue. Golden idol. The case of the. This must be the case of the golden idol. Any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition site? All right. So we're gonna. Albert Cloudsley, Obringeller, Doctor. Oberyn Geller, Esquire Albert Cloudsley. He's alive! Chad, it's okay! Whoever he was, he's screaming! He's gonna be okay! He's going, ah! He's drowning, but he's okay right now. He's gonna be fine. He has a scalpel on him. A medicine bottle. Alright, this is the doctor. So this is oh this is Oberyn Geller. We have a map, Horn of Finger, Ruins of Xenopolis, Bay of Shadows, Horn of Thumb. All right, what have we here? Their bags. They haven't noticed I'm still rummaging through their garbage. They haven't noticed a single thing. Do not save him. My job is to solve the case, not to save lives. All right, you want a you want like a like a, I don't know a sheriff. A, like a, a doctor, an ambulance, I don't know, anything, any like person of authority. I'm a private detective, okay? I'm not, I'm not anything to this other than the person that's going to fucking, I don't know, snitch. Two bags filled with coins and gems, tobacco, medical supplies. Oh my God. The hell is that? That must be the... That must be it! The golden idol! Alright, anyways. The doctor's currently in the water. So Albert Cloudsley pushed Oberyn Geller, the doctor, from a cliff in the blank of blank on Monkey Paw Island. But where are we on Monkey Paw Island? There's two islands right there. All right, I found it. We're at the Horn of the Thumb. It wasn't that hard. Simple as that, man. It's as simple as that, man. The scroll has been fulfilled. While Dr. Obrangeller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner, Albert Cloudsley Esquire, suddenly pushed him off the cliff. I know what's up. I know what's up. All right. Episode two. The untimely passing of a rural gentleman. So that was like the tutorial to teach us the controls and how the game works. What the hell happened here? I can't believe I've broken into this guy's house and found another crime, therefore justifying my break-in as instead detective work. All right. This guy's freaking dead. He has a wound on his head, his brain is leaked out of his body. He has some kind of ruby ring on him. The man's not breathing, his head is badly wounded. All right. And hence. What's that, what's that weird mask? I don't know what that is. That means nothing to me. Henry Clover, lead poisoning. Ah, yes. Head, lead. Head. Lead. He died in his bed. After he hit his head. must have climbed this rickety ladder. 
this rickety ladder. Yes. Crow Tower, Woodshire, Blackfield. He has to be, we have to be at Blackfield because we can see water in the background. This compass is bad, but who cares? We're at Blackfield. Day is 23rd of August. This is the man. This must be what he looks like when he's eating dinner, I guess. I'm not sure why I care. But th it was added as a clue. This must be what he looks like when he's enjoying himself and when he's happy, much unlike now, where he's very clearly not having a good time. Mm, yes, this must be his other clothes. He also has clothes right there. It seems clothing is important to him. Spontaneous combustion. I, Sebastian Clodsley, will share my humble contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. I can confirm now he did not die from spontaneous combustion. We know this. Ladies and gentlemen, we know this. One thing we know as a takeaway, he did not die of spontaneous combustion because he is uncombusted. I can tell you this for certain. Everything else is on the fucking table though. It might have been a goblin. How can we be sure? Not on fire. Not on fire. Very un on fire. August 22nd, 1786. 12 o'clock. Woke up. A beautiful day. 12.30. Washed and dressed in my dining attire. Dining. <laughs> Had a beautiful roast duck for lunch. Changed into my hunting attire. Rode to hunt badgers. Had no luck today and returned home. Changed into my researching attire. Didn't research... Directly, immediately afterwards, changed back into my dining attire. Had a tasty beef loin for supper. Filled in my diary and went to bed to continue re reading for my research. <clears throat> oh my god. The Golden Idol, again. Wait. Blood leads right up to the idol. Oh my god. Well, hold up here. Sebastian Cloudsley, Lord of Blackfield, passed away in his bed. The cause of death was a head wound, which occurred when he fell from a... Now this is when a fool might say ladder. Chat. This is when a fool might say the rickety ladder is the cause of Sebastian Cloudsley's demise. Like there's been some scampering in the fucking background of a panicked animal that perhaps knows it did something wrong. Perhaps knows, perhaps has guilt in an animal in the background's eyes as it runs like a psycho along the background. I propose it was not the ladder, the innocent ladder that did the crime, but in fact, the mad horse that, that bucked Sebastian Cloudsley off of it in the middle of a hunt, a badger hunt. Because to be clear, he is not wearing his dining attire. This is what he looks like when he dines. He's not wearing dining attire. This man is not wearing research attire. Research attire looks like this, very dirty. This man is wearing his hunting attire, which is why I propose that we put this horse in horse jail for life. No parole. No parole. 
The scroll has been fulfilled. While the Lord of Blackfield was hunting, his horse threw him off, and he suffered a deadly wound to the head. Yes, which is why there was a track of blood along the ground. He limped back to his bed where he freaking died. <clears throat> if he had hit his head with the ladder, there would have been blood on the top of the bed. There was not. It all makes sense now. It's just that easy. What's this? Sebastian Cloudsley, fucking dead. Who the hell are these fools? That means nothing to me. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> I had to blow my nose really bad. Okay. The dramatic departure of an outsider. Okay, so this kicked up to 11 really fast. All right, so this one, good news is whatever's happening to this guy on fire, it's not happening that quickly because I just walked in and it seems like I have a lot of time to get this. Sir, can I get your name? Okay, he's not. Can I check? You mind if I check what's on you quick before you, uh, do whatever it is you're doing? Scorched knife and a scorched horse brush. Let's see. Who is this guy? Spare me, devil! I was simply following orders! Anyone ever tell you you have a potato shaped head, sir? Like a, like a big potato? You have a very strange looking face and head. Oh, astonishing monkey man! Property of the Pear Brothers! Wait a minute. Has anyone ever told you you have a kind of pear shaped head? Anyone ever told you you have a pear shaped head, sir? And a dagger on him. A knife, the letter A. A knife with the letter A, along with a pamphlet that says, Monkey Boy, property of the Pear Brothers. Is there a Pear Brother with an A in their name? Perhaps we will find out. This guy was in the memory, or whatever that cutscene was. What the blazes? August Focky Club Focky Jockey. Focky? That's an F, not a J. There's a line there. That's Focky. I was like, jockey, like horse jockey, would make sense. But why would they put the line there if it wasn't meant to be an F? That's a bad J. <laughs> that's, a, that's a bad J. All right, taking off the detective hat, putting down my pipe. That's a shit J. That's a bad fucking J is what that is. All right. A bad J. Club Derby. Race, win, place, show, wager, three, raging sultan, 35 pounds. What does this have to fucking do with my research and my detective work? Now, if it's all the same to you, I will take my leave. Oh my god. It's the freaking idol. Again. With some kind of apparatus on the back. J, some kind of O, and a really, uh, just a bad triangle. I see. This gives me nothing. Spontaneous combustion. To perform the combustion trick, you must first cast a freezing spell. The sacred glyphs for the combustion on the idol. God. 
Oh my god. He got paid money to do this magic trick. That's a good amount of money. He made a pound and two shillings and two pence off of that. It's big. Is what I would say. Is what I would say. <laughs> Hang on. Before I before I say what I'm going to say, before I'm going to reveal my 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 interpretations of all this, let's go through the other people here. This guy, very clearly evil. Ash Blair, tobacco. Monkeys shouldn't smoke. Prepare the carriage for tomorrow. We are to visit my nephew, E.C. Some money, a saddlebag, and a dagger. This guy must work as some kind of horse guy. <laughs> That's the right term for it. Stable Rota for Adam and James. Wait. Hey. Adam and James. Jay! James! By God, that's James Pear! I could barely recognize his pear shaped head after the horrible burns! After the horrible spontaneous combustion! By God, it's burned his pear shaped head down to the shape of a normal head. If not for the knife, I would never know who this man was. It was one of the stable boys. Adam! Where's the monkey man? I grab Adam, I shake him. I start shaking him. I grab him by the collar of his shirt. Adam! Where's the monkey boy? I slap him twice in the face. Did they do this? I will. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and toss their um, names in. Adam Pear. James Pear. Okay. Easy. We're done. <laughs> We're done here, folks. We have. My job here is complete. Don't know what else to say. Well, I guess we can say that James. Pear did die from spontaneous combustion. We can finish. Suddenly, James Pear died from <laughs> nothing. Look, nothing's more sudden than spontaneous combustion. I think we can all agree on that. So I think that's good to go. Oh. I think that's good to go. Nothing's more sudden than that. What's next? Okay. We don't know who any of these other people are just yet. We gotta find out who sent this. EC. I'm, gu I'm guessing Cloudsley. Cloudsley's been a repeating name. We have nothing from this guy yet. Some kind of really bad family crest. Yes. Looks like fuck it. It looks like it, it, it's reminiscent of like the. It, yeah, someone said it, and I was about to say it. It's like this is a reminiscent of like dick butt character. This must be someone that this must be a family of new money. This this isn't an, this isn't an old family. This is someone that came into their money recently and quickly drew together a family crest. Too childish. Too childish. I see. What an unexpected turn of events. I hate this guy. I bet. E C E C Jet E C Three pounds This guy's rich He's got a stiletto blade Dear Edmund Edmund It has reached my attention that you are seeking a capable new servant I have just the man for you David Gorin is an experienced coachman Well, David. The 
narrows down some of you. I can do it. With a diverse set of talents that I'm sure you will find very useful. If you're ever displeased with his services, do not hesitate to let me know. Yours, Theo. Edmund Cloudsley's speech stirs Parliament. London Gazetteer. Monday, September 7th, 1786. If I had a nickel for every single time a Cloudsley was at the scene of a crime, I'd have three nickels because there's been three levels in this game. When will you learn? Which in this time, three nickels is a lot of money. I'd actually, that'd be a lot of money right now. That's a, in this era, that's a fucking lot of money. All right, well, uh, you stay here. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. All right, be right back. No one move! One of the pair brothers burst into flames. I think Monkey Boy did it. I'm here to bring him in. Did he run into the chimney? He went into the chimney, didn't he? We're gonna have to smoke him out. Any of you Cloudsleys? What is this? Fat Lord Pear Twins. I didn't need any more help figuring out who the Pear Twins were. But this place is a shithole. Batley. So this is the house of the Batleys. <laughs> really do just have the worst. They really do have the worst emblem. I don't like Godzilla. It's like, it's just Godzilla. It's so bad. It's a really bad one. Who are you? My apologies. He can be so... But here sometimes. I've never seen that word. I don't think I've ever seen that word before. Is that a word? But here? Is that a typo? Help. Want to speak American, lady? It means deaf, apparently. You want to speak American? Six rings with various stones. Some look like eyeballs. Oh. She's... I see. You've used a word from a different culture because this is like the equivalent of like a weeb. <laughs> we've got a we've got a we've got a 1700s weeb on our hands. Uh, they're carrying a Shimhashana Batisi, a fan, and an ornamented guitar blade. <laughs> she basically called him a baka. Uh. Okay. All right. Well, none of this helps me currently. Shamal bought Nicholas Maker Attorney. I would not have expected one of your family to treat a legal document in such a way. I am appalled. A ring with a ruby. Two shillings, three pences. Reading of the last will and testament of Sebastian Cloudsley. Sebastian. Cloudsley. The guy who died in the last level. <clears throat> I see. Peter Batley. Rose Kubert. There's only one. All right, so this has to be Rose. Edmund Cloudsley, we already have ID'd. Willard Wright, we don't. <clears throat> okay, well, Rose, I'm going to punch in quick. What was the last name of this lady? Rose Kubert. I see. I see. What was the name of this attorney? Nicholas Maker? Okay. I see. 
Where's the document? I know this doesn't matter and doesn't actually help James Pear not be in, in an inferno, but w w would you like to point me in the direction of this legal document? A forsims by Sebastian Cloudsley. What the fuck? A for aphorisms, aphorisms by Sebastian Cloudsley. How to be happy. All right. I'm not sure why these are relevant to my case, to punch it. Eat a hearty meal every day and do not waste your time on trivialities. How to avoid being upset. Strive for that which holds meaning and do not shrink from responsibility. This this doesn't really feel like inspirational. It feels more like something you'd see on like the side of like a wall scrawled by like the foreman at like a old timey industrial era factory like this is like some this is like some some dystopian outlooks on this how to be inspired take a walk in your forest and breathe the fresh air how to avoid being scared feeling scared is a weakness be strong instead that one's nothing all right, before this, I could take, yes, I could take a walk in the forest to feel inspired. Your answer to not being scared is don't be. <laughs> Just, don't be, you fucking moron, you fool. What, what, what's your fucking problem? You're cringe. All right. What the fuck is all this? Oh boy, it's stuff I gotta keep track of. Well. Let me go through my thinking. Let me go through my mind palace one more time. This guy, hang on. Whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't want to un-ID you. I want to take care of some of this before I, this guy's leaving. Okay, so this guy can't be a member of the bet. And this guy can't be anyone named Batley. Okay, which means there's only one person that could be Batley. And it's this guy. Because the other guy's leaving. He's taking his leave. So that's gotta be Batley. Yes. If that guy's Batley, that means he's Peter Batley. For now, this guy's Peter Batley. If he isn't, then he swaps to some he swaps this guy. These are the only two people left. Yes. Is Edmund Cloudsley present? Edmund Cloudsley. Rose is Willard Wright. That makes this Willard Wright. Fuck, it's so easy. All right, all identities are filled in correctly. I wanted to get that cleared out before I did the rest of it. When a scroll is completely filled in, words can be dragged directly. Okay. Nice. Now that we have that done, move on to the part that's more complicated now we can solve the rest all right so what the fuck happened in here it seems like they tore up a legal document of some kind dear peter batley we have sent you frequent reminders concerning the settlement of your debt and yet and yet to date the debt remains unpaid we humbly request that you make your payments as soon as possible, or we will be forced to take matters into our own hands. The debt currently stands at 255 pounds. That's a lot of money. This guy lives in a shithole. The Batleys are not doing well. Oh, boy. Oh, I see now. They... They got into gambling. I can't believe poor What's-His-Name had to be bursted into flames. I can't believe James Pear had to be bursted into flames for this guy, for this guy to fucking figure out that gambling is wrong. I, Sebastian Cloudsley, of Blackfield County, being in bodily health and of sound and disposing mind and memory, nominate and appoint Nicholas Maker as executor of my last will and testament. Dear brother Ed... 
I see. So this guy is the executor of the will. Dear Willard Wright. Oh fuck, I'm gonna have to actually put this together. I bequeath to you the gold. You know what to do with it, idol of Xenopolis. Okay. I bequeath to you the gold idol of Xenopolis. You will know what to do with it. Who will know what to do with it? I want you to put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. Therefore, I bequeath to you the notes from the research I have undertaken on astronomy. I grant you leave to finish and publish it under both our names. I don't fucking care about that. My dear late sister, your mother disclosed your financial troubles to me. Long to me. What? What is long? long. Is there like a There's a little bit missing or something. Long ago? I guess there's like a tiny letter missing. Cause it wigged me out. Cause I was like, the, what? And I resolved to help you. It's just long ago. And I resolved to help you. I bequeath to you a compilation of my aphorisms. <laughs> people got money from this guy. Some people here got money. Some people here got things. And this guy left one of his family members. His book on how to not be sad. I bequeath to you a compilation of my aphorisms to provide the direction in your life which you so clearly lack. Okay. So Sebastian died. Peter Batley is who he's talking about. Peter Batley, who of course, owner of the Batley residence, which is of course vandalized by the Para Twins, who of course uh, famously owned the Astonishing Monkey Man, a very smart chimpanzee, who of course famously lit James Pear Aflame. But that's none of my concern. I'm here to find out who's getting the money. Are we sure a horse didn't do it? It would track. Chat, it, it would track for the horse to have done it is one thing I will agree on. I think we can all agree on that. So Peter's not getting anything. But could Peter have gotten mad? Peter is, of course, the 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 the, the bozo here, who is just really gambling a lot. Evidently, there's a knife or a dagger on the ground and some bones. Wait, no, that's just wood. Everything's okay, Chad. It's not bones. It's just wood or something. Oh. It actually repaired all these so I don't have to fucking piece them together one by one. That's nice. We met so rarely after you left for the colonies. Therefore, I bequeath to you my savings, land, and the Blackfield Manor House. Come home and establish a museum of my life and accomplishments. Don't tell... Don't tell my idiot... Nephew, Peter, about how much I'm giving the rest of you. Ever. It's my aphorisms book. And he'll be damn pleased with it. I hate him. How to be happy. <laughs> all right. We have all the information we need to piece this puzzle together, Chet. First of all, obviously, this goes to Peter. P 
Peter Batley received the the really bad book. Okay. I know that on one of them was the idol, so I just need to check that quick. All right, the idol was given to Willard. Willard Wright received the idol. Okay. I want you to put your sharp mind to better use than mere politics. Therefore, I bequeath you the notes from the research I've undertaken on astronomy. I grant you leave to finish and publish it under both our names. Who are the people that are actually up for this? I think it's the sister for this one. Check. Rose. I mean, it's interchangeable. So if we just put Rose in on one, then we can put a... Uh, Edmund. Yoink. Simple as it. All right. So Edmund got the research. Rose got left everything else, which is probably why they have so much money on them and have a bunch of rings and this ornamental fan, this beautiful fan and this ornamented guitar blade. Obviously all these things are things you need to own so you can put them in a museum. And she definitely didn't spend all of the money left to her on all these artifacts. Definitely not, definitely, definitely didn't. On Hindu manga books. <laughs> That's. <laughs> Stop! Okay. So, Chet. Now we just have to figure out. Uh, now we just have to decipher this. Blank was blank to receive blank in blank's will and ordered blank and blank to take the blank from blank. Suddenly, James Pear died from spontaneous combustion. Now, I'm not writing out Monkey Boy yet. The game wants us to write out Monkey Boy. I'm not writing out Monkey Boy. I'm also not writing out the horse just yet. All right? There's a lot of windows where Monkey Boy could still be part of the game. Until I see the body myself, Monkey Boy is in this, okay? Well, we know that it's to take the idol. Mm, actually, maybe not. Well, first of all, Sebastian. Sebastian Cloudsley's will. And ordered blank and blank. Likely the Pear Brothers, because Adam Pear is talking about taking orders, following orders. So, Adam Pear and James Pear. to take the idol from Willard Wright. Willard Wright very obviously lit James Pear on fire out of self-defense after Peter Batsley. Oh wait, no, 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 hang on. Aphorisms was, hang on, upset to receive aphorisms. There we go. We did it. We got there. I just had to punch in the aphorisms thing that stunlocked me for a second. <clears throat> the scroll has been fulfilled. Peter Batley, encumbered by his gambling debts, had placed high hopes on his uncle's testament. Upon discovering he had inherited nothing but a book of aphorisms, he tore up the will and ordered his servants to take the golden statue from the stranger Willard. Suddenly, one of the servants burst into flames. Easy, man. Easy. Easy, man. So the stranger's Willard. Who was Willard again? Associate. He's just a stranger. Which is why he was so upset to lose the uh, golden statue to that. He knows what to do with it. All right. 
next chapter. The Cursed Inheritance. The Murder at the Little Mermaid. I just can't believe wherever I go, someone gruesomely dies. It's kind of it's kind of funny how this keeps happening. Oh my god! This guy this guy's fucking dead! It's happened again! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what's happening here. But what I do know is that the rafters of this building could house not one, but ten of monkey boys <laughs> or twos of horses all right all i'm saying is there's a chance for for, for a, a, a listen i've seen monkey boys tricks firsthand adam pear and james pear Monkey Boy was crazy, all right? And Monkey Boy could compress down to such a small scale. And there were many Monkey Boys. They confirmed there were more Monkey Boys. At one point in confidence, James Pear even admitted to me that they had a Googleplex of Monkey Boys. Now, I'm not saying we should be concerned that many monkey boys could be scampering around in the darkest corners of this world, but it is something we should keep in mind. Oh, <laughs> Google Flux. I know. I know, Chad. I know. I know. Everything's gonna be fine, though. Monkey boys only live for about five weeks. Trap door in the ceiling. A flower. Another flower. A window. Hey! Why did that bugger give me a no when he knows damn well I can't read? Give me that! You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. An old rusty half of shears and a piece of stale bread. All right, you're free to go. You're free to go, sir. An empty bed, not worn. A door, the door does not open. Don't wanna do that. Trap door in the ceiling. Okay. Door does not open, it was locked. This guy couldn't- if this guy killed this guy, who I've yet to actually investigate the body, alright, to be fair, to be fair, haven't done that, uh, if this guy killed this guy, he would have he, how is he- how did he lock the window when he left? Because what I assumed would have happened is he came in, what? Dude, let me just do this one room at a time. Okay, let's all slow down. <laughs> let's all just calm down. Revenge. R, R. Okay, so this guy got stabbed. The man is not breathing. Yeah, but at least he didn't burst into flames. A walking cane, a ring with a ruby. To my dear Maurice. Him. Maurice. This guy was a wizard. Yeah, you can tell by the cane. He was a wizard. We all know this. That's not even, that's not new knowledge. A washing bowl filled with a slightly bloody water. Dear proud beast master, I have attended our departed brother's send off and accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our brotherhood at his will. I shall send this letter tomorrow, September 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to my bed, for this has been a long day. May the griffin awaken. Proud beast initiate. I see. It all makes sense, Jet. It's all coming together. I know for a fact Monkey Boy did this. I can't pin it yet. 
But I think this goes a lot. I think this goes a lot deeper than what we're thinking. All right. Look at the shape of these incisions, of these cuts. That's a small knife. That's a monkey boy sized knife. That's a monkey boy sized knife right there. All right. Everyone knows monkey boy is too rambunctious. One stab is enough to kill most people. <laughs> Everyone knows this. You don't need to stab four times. One is enough. I can assure you of one thing in my life and one thing alone. If you stab me in the stomach, you only need to do it once for my body to go, this is it and fall over and die. The extra two are gratuitous. And that's something that you would only do in the heat of the moment if you were some kind of feral creature, likely screaming and going like, oh, oh, as you stab someone. What I'm saying is monkey boy did it. We just need to find out how. Alarm, alarm, I'm breaking. Watchman number two, Henry Parker. Well, at least this guy was easy to ID. <laughs> Shards of glass lie in the mud. Wait. Is there any mud on the window? Well, it was him. He's got the mud and everything. It was him. But who hired? Probably. Monkey Boy. Of course. Monkey Boy has too much. He's he's done enough. He's taken all the money. From Adam Pear and James Pear. He doesn't need to get his hands dirty anymore. Monkey Boy likely would pay someone else to do his dirty work. Fuck, but Monkey Boy can't write. Fuck. Monkey Boy confirmed can't write. We'll have to think more on this. All right, Henry Parker, lock him in. Well, let's do this first. Blank crept into Blank's room through the blank. While Blank and Blank and Blank were playing cards with loud music. A fight ensued upstairs and Blank got stabbed with a blank. It all makes sense to me. It all makes sense to me. It's all coming together. It's all, it's all coming together, Jed. It's all coming together. Well, we do need to go down here and figure out this part. What the fuck even is that? At the Little Mermaid Inn, Amazing Evans, musical performance. <laughs> What's good, man? Oh, mother, forgive me. I will never gamble with something so dear to me again. Key. A Navaja folding knife. And a violin. Evans. What's your first name, Evan? Robert Redrith. I've... I've seen that man before. I've seen that man. Tab. Green, Breach, Blair. Four glasses of wine, three glasses of wine, one glass of wine. Tell me, what does that man have that I lack? Got a small sword, a key, seven pence, and a hand of cards. Be calm, John. He was a perfect gentleman. He bought me a drink and then retired upstairs. 
to Annie. Annie, you are like a, you are beautiful like a rose. For you, I will take any blows. Annie, you are like a glass of wine. Your hair is very fine. I will find gold in a mine if that makes you forever mine. Your piglet full of love. Alright. Just deal the next one. It's all luck anyways. Remember you as an agent of our trading company. Remember you as an agent of our trading company have to reflect its values to the fullest. One, never be late. The client leaves the port on the dead. Two, be persuasive. Do not take no for an answer. You must get the client's product. Three, be effective. Once you have the product, deliver it to me immediately with the servant boy. Most importantly, no matter what you do, be mindful of our reputation. Our names must remain spotless. Cards, a dagger. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. It fucking makes sense, any of that. What the fuck is all this shit? The fuck is this crap? Pass. <laughs> Door to the street is shut with a latch. Where did that blasted boy go? I really needed a piss. Dear Oscar Boynton, it has come to our attention that the good owner of the Little Mermaid offers services to those who want to transfer products that are less agreeable to the authorities. I will come by in three days. If you still have some spare space in your gin barrels and are willing to earn extra money, reach out to me. All right, Oscar. Boynton. The fuck is this shit? A G W W M E. Annie. We know one of their names is Annie, so that adds up. Annie. Wait, but there's also A B. We need the rest of their names before we do this. We know her name's Annie. Yeah, they're all the rest of this off for now. We need their names. No, their names done. We need their names. We can't get anywhere without names. We know John is a name, which leads to that. So I'm guessing it's first name, first name, first name, first name. For that. Various set of rings. A partially peeled lemon. Set of keys. Ring Breach Lair. So these are names. We don't know where they go yet. To Annie. B for Blair or B for Breach. A, green, G's green. There's no way it's not. There's only been one G. So we know G's going to there. So green, green, green. Okay. There's only one A, so we can put Annie in on all these. Annie green, Annie green. Well, that at least answers Annie. Well, then there's Annie, then there's another A. Take me back to the scene of the murder. R. R. Robert Redrith. Revenge. R. R. Robert Redrith. He, he wrote this. The dead guy wrote this. Well, we know Robert did the crime. Who's the fucking dead guy? Yeah, it's not breathing. 
We haven't actually gotten the name of this guy. I'm glad he's stuck around so I can ask him questions, despite the fact that, uh... Despite the fact that he did a murder. I I'm, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad that he stuck around for this. To my dear Maurice, watch his ticket. This all makes perfect sense to me now. I don't know about you. Maurice, but Maurice what? M is here. Or it's Maurice. We still don't know what Evans' name is, huh? That's one thing we haven't gotten. We have nothing about Evans yet. Send the departure of our, our departed brothers send off and accept the keepsake. We haven't, there's no idol in this one either. There's no, there hasn't been an idol. Empty bed, not warm. And there's normal. Henry Parker, we know Henry is like, we can actually move Henry off screen. He's not relevant to this at all. So I'm gonna grab Henry and I'm just gonna move him down here. Cause I think Henry Parker is like straight up nothing. Yeah, there's nothing here for that either. Or, or are they? Or are they? Yes. We just have to... Evans is such a piece of shit, dude. Evan, 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 Evan's pissing me off. I, I wish I could just get Evan's name cleared out so I could stop caring about it. But we know that OB is Oscar Boynton. So this has to be their full names. It has to be. It's just abbreviated. These aren't like pairings, so it's always Annie Green. So we have Oscar Boyton. Which means the other one is going to be something Blair. Because it's Annie Green. Because that's the only G. Well, there's also AB. But we don't have another A... Yeah, Chad, I don't need help in this game. There's a hint system in it if I need it. Uh, I would ask if I need you. Uh, there's also Reege, Blair. We don't have anything for WW at all. We don't actually have a WW name. We're missing a hint. There's something we're missing. I swear there's something we're missing. We never saw this. That's what we're missing. We've been missing, we've literally been missing a hint. Uh, Dandelion Room, Willard Wright. Forget Me Not Room, Ash Blair. Willard Wright. And Ash Blair. All right, that lets us fill everything now. All right, that's what we needed, that's what we needed. Anything with WW is Willard Wright. And there's Ash Blair. Which means this is Annie Green. Okay. Which means... JB. There's only one left and that's John Breach. Okay. Which means Evan's name is the only one that comes with an M. Wait, no. I 
I was wrong. That's not correct. The Maurice one is not correct because I just remembered that's that guy's name. Uh, Willard Wright, Andy Green, Andy Green, Breach, John. That's backwards by accident. That's the problem there. Maybe I was right. There we go. Yeah, I was just, I just mixed up. I had a mix up. Okay. We have everyone's names, technically. We technically have everyone together. Maurice Evans is the violinist. We know this. Now where is Monkey Boy? Confess! Tell me where he is, man. He's gotta be inside the fucking floorboards or something. He can't be in the attic. He grew up. It's just not possible. Monkey boy, it was already fully grown. Can't grow up anymore, it's not possible. Okay, well we're gonna move these names down here because they are not relevant to the plot right now. Andy Green, good. We saw this guy, I just don't remember his goddamn name. Because I swear he's got the same fucking weird ass mustache as that other guy. Green, Breach, Blair. One glass of wine on Blair. That's not very helpful with this. Well, I can at least punch in uh, Ash Blair, Dandelion Room. Who's Dandelion Room? That's... This is what a dandelion looks like. Okay. So, with that in mind, Willard Wright is the dead guy. Willard Wright, which means one of these two is fucking John Breeze, the other is Oscar Boynton, and that's fairly, who's the forget me now, one? Ash Blair. Oh, no, no, yeah, Ash Blair is one of them, John Breeze is the other, because that's Oscar Boynton. Okay. All right. So we just empty bed, not warm. Inside of it are boots and a jacket. He's already wearing boots that are covered in mud. doesn't make any sense. What does that man have that I lack? Be calm, John. This is John Breach. Make this Ash Blair. We have everything we need. It was a setup. It was a setup on a setup, and somehow Monkey Boy did this. Okay. I don't think John did this. Because he's been playing cards. It's not breathing. Is there any way I can check the time? I'm not sure if this would actually tell me. Let's see. It's late. It's two. It's ticking, so it's still on. 
This guy wouldn't write Revenge RR if he was not killed by the psycho in the darkness. Someone paid him to do this. So he got killed by the shears. I'm not, that can't just, this guy, Robert Redruth did this, okay? Willard Wright got stabbed by the shears. By Robert Redruth. So Robert Redruth, correct. To Willard Wright's room. But why the fuck would this guy write Revenge RR if he can't read? But why would he write? He can't read or write. So unless this guy wrote it while he was bleeding, the most metal thing I could do in my fucking life after being stabbed is smear my own hands all over my blood and then write down the person who killed me in blood. That's metal as shit, but this guy wears a fucking funny nightcap. I don't think he's that metal. It's a setup. Robert didn't do this. It was John. John had to. Had to be John. He was jealous. Because Willard had a thing. For Annie. So why the hell... <laughs> so what does Maurice the violinist have to do with this? Chat, that's the true question. That's that's the real question is why what the hell's Maurice the violinist have to do with all of this? Because for some reason to my dear Maurice Anyone have something that would go in? Would this violin fit in that box? Yeah. That must have been where the golden idol was. Look, for now, let's punch this in as if it was the most just following exactly what the game wants me to believe. Robert Redruth snuck in, stabbed him with the shear. While John, Annie, who we know is a lock-in, they didn't do anything, I, I fucking hope, and Ash playing cards. Got stabbed with the shear. He was stuck in through the window. We know that's not correct. We already know the window's not correct. We know it can't be the door. The door was locked. It has to be the trap door. Now, can horses use shears? No, they can't. And I'll tell you what, these shears are way too clean. The glass was broken. Spear, this guy's spear is clean. Chad, everything. Everything's, everything's here for the horse to have broke in. I'm telling you. I feel like it's not the trap door. I don't think it can be. I don't think it can be the trap door. I think it was the horse. I know this. No, it's not a think. I know it was the horse. I'm almost positive the horse did this.
This door does not open. This door does not open. Neither of these doors are openable. The mud is just such a... I'm telling you, man. There is mud leading out through this window, too, walking that way. The mud, I... Something about this fucking mud. What am I missing? I don't want to consult this again. What does this mean? I'm, I'm just confused what this paper is. Keys have to mean for have to matter for something too. So golden key there. No other key on them. This was latched closed. He has a key. She has a key. He has a key. They all have keys. Wait a minute. Oscar. Your piglet full of love. I don't want to be mean to Oscar, but he has a pig-like look to him. But how in the hell could he have snuck into that building and killed someone? Oscar truly couldn't creep. I'm not trying to be. He's got the keys, though. Oscar would have had the ability to creep into the trap door. It would have been Ash Blair otherwise. Ash was the only one with the ability to do it. How many drinks in was Ash? One glass of wine? He wants our the reputation to remain spotless. He would have been paying someone else to do it. He wouldn't have done he wouldn't have done anything. Dude, I'm telling you, I think Willard wrote that fucking shit on the wall in his dying moments after getting fucking stabbed. If this doesn't go through with something, when I punch in all the weapons on this. Hmm. I'm having fun with this though. I like that it kicked up the difficulty finally because it was very easy before this. And now I'm like, now I actually have to think. I'm enjoying this. The question is though, how did Monkey Boy do it? Well, look, we know that Ash... We know that Ash was the only one that had access to his room. This is his room. He's in the forget-me-not room. He didn't have any... He didn't have many drinks. He was staying in here tonight. He didn't have any drinks. He can't have his reputation smeared. So we'd have to pay someone to do stuff for him if he wanted to. Remember, you're an agent of our trading company. You have to reflect its values. Never be late. Be persuasive. Be effective. No matter what you do, be mindful of reputation. Maybe you do not take no for an answer. We must get the client's product. They must. They must. No matter what, the product has to be gotten. The product was probably kept inside of this and is missing. I think this guy's a red herring.
This window is broken out. Not in. Why would it need to be broken out? There's a latch on the inside. Glass is on the outside. trying to frame RR because his reputation has to be spotless. Ash Lair did this. Maurice Evans did play a game. He played one. He played one game. He snuck in through the trap door which connects their two rooms. He framed this insane serial killer with another crime. <laughs> What's one more? Isn't that right, Ash Blair? Killed him with the dagger. Fuck! Oh wait, Maurice's name isn't right. <laughs> Maurice? Evans. Fuck! Shit! Wait, John Evans? John... Re Ash Blair crept into Willard Wright's room through the trap door. That's the only thing that makes sense. While John Breach, Maurice Evans, and Annie Green were playing cards with loud music. LOUD MUSIC! LOUD MUSIC. Which means it can't have been Maurice Evans playing cards. It had to be Oscar Boyton because Maurice had to be playing. And Monkey Boy was there the whole time. I just can't prove how yet. Monkey boy, servant boy. Oscar Boynton was talking about his servant coming on by. Maybe monkey boy was involved. Monkey boy's gotta be behind it. The scroll has been fulfilled. A man going by the name of Ash Blair snapped into Willard's crept into snapped. <laughs> A, a mix of sneak and crept. <laughs> snapped. A man going by the name of Ash Blair stepped into Willard's room through the trapdoor to steal something important. But when he opened the music box, it woke Willard up and a fight ensued. In the fracas, Ash stabbed Willard and attempted to frame an escaped convict. That was a good one. Good morning, innkeeper. I heard a man was murdered here a week ago. I a deranged convict got him. Now bugger off. Tell me more about the evening when Willard died, and I'll make it worth your while. The hat means something. The hat's got to mean something. Well, they, they, th this guy, this guy maybe has the most picturesque front portrait I've ever seen in my entire fucking life. Look at the shape of this. Though it's huge. <laughs> Look at that dog! <laughs> the intoxicating dinner party. That level was fun. That was the first one. The other ones were like somewhat easy in that like it was fairly obvious what was happening. That was the first one where it was like, all right, solve it. All right, solve it. This is great. The intoxicating dinner party. <laughs> What's up, you fucking weirdo? Ooh! These sure are fine coats. An expensive cigar. Little Pip, run to the city and grab some Ash Blair tobacco and a bottle of... Grab me some Ash Blair tobacco and a bottle of gin. I will pay you when I'm back, David. Weird little creep. I think that person's dead. Oh, big map. Okay, here we go. Start at the bottom. Four rooms. 
Let's go through the coats. An overcoat and a hat. Overcoat and a hat. Some more cigars. And on the one here, we have a note. Dear Miss Richards, I enjoyed your company tremendously when I visited your father last month. I'm certain that you would wish to hear the rest of my thoughts on the shortcomings of our society. I invite you and your father. Oh, you know what really gets me going? When someone offers to tell me their thoughts about the shortcomings of society. Nothing really gets me fucking... Nothing really gets me excited and ready to hang out and have a good time. Really quite like going on any kind of trip just so I can hear someone's thoughts. I want to talk to you about society. Let me pencil you in for April 8th at my manor. Sincerely, Edmund Cloudsley. One name is for sure, Edmund Cloudsley. We also have a Miss Richards. We have a David something and some idiot named Little Pip. Surely the kid has a name. I hate them though. I really do hate Little Pip. A syringe with some liquid left in it. It's worthless. That's useless information for me. Who cares about that? A mattress. And in the mattress are things. This is like, dude, I'm like a reverse detective. Some detectives, they ask, they like talk to all the witnesses first. I stumble in. I stumble in. I punch little Pip in the face. Get the fuck away from that. And then I look inside all their coats. Then I run back to the fucking kitchen. I sprint back. I climb into the rafters. I cut open a mattress. I rip it open and I find all the stuff inside. I rummage around in it. That's this is where all the good stuff is. Oh, this is it. This is what I was looking for. Some kind of weird hammer. <laughs> Jamrock shovel. Stop, dude. Oh, whenever someone references disco now, I get all sad. <laughs> he just runs into the back and starts rummaging through items. He doesn't even talk to anyone. A small bottle filled with amber liquid. A couple of pennies, a fancy handkerchief, and a fancy and a shiny pocket watch. These are like lock picking tools. Oh my god. Monkey Man 2. Tooth for tooth. No, 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 no. The monkey boy has grown up into a monkey man. Two. It's a calling card. Monkey Man 1 versus Striped Dark Hand. The fact that I've had to actually write down in my professional detective book, Monkey Man, is really something. Thank you, dear. No, I threw it out. I do not read such dirty literature anymore. I do hope our master's guests are satisfied and that Brian served everything as instructed. Fuck is Brian? Small, simple key. These matter. These, these matter. Whatever's happening here with these keys. The dinner party will take place on April 8th. Everything should be ready before noon. Prepare roasted boar. Young Miss Richards appears to not enjoy meat. Therefore, prepare some alternative side dish. Oh, that was easy. Full and sealed bottles with red liquid labeled wine. A full and sealed bottle of amber liquid labeled brandy. It saying sealed is important. I think right now. These are sealed. <laughs> to Mrs. Smith for three years of service. One of these people has to be 
One of these ladies has to be Mrs. Smith. Of course I can give you some candles for your room, Lucia. I assume you're itching to continue reading that scandalous novel. Dear Ada, one of these two is Smith, the other one has a different last name. I have no use for this. I have to use this letter to share good news. There's no substance to the claims that your late husband used his position to squander church money. The judge has decided to remove all accusations and you will be no longer a target of baseless gossip. I truly and sincerely hope this will provide some comfort in these dark times when ignorance and impudence go hand in hand. May our Lord steward over our poor souls. Doors locked. Deck of candles. Dear Diary, this has been an ordinary day mostly spent in preparation for tomorrow's dinner event. I do believe time has come for me to ask for a raise in salary after all- <gasps> A raise in salary? Scandalous! Gasp! In this day and age? In this day and age? A raise? What are you, some kind of free thinker? We're all in this together. Okay? We're all in this together. And that's why I know you'll be okay with, I don't know, us not doing that. Maybe I'll, maybe we, I'm gonna take a little bit more money out of your salary. I can give it to like the other employee here. You know what I mean? You can move it around. It is a difficult conversation to be had, but it will strengthen my will to talk to the master about it tomorrow. I do believe my time has come for, to ask for a raise in salary after all these years I have loyally worked here. After all these years. Hordius. The wise slave. Fables about rulers that make you think. Paint. Down with parasites too long have they, they have feasted on our blood and sweat. Oh my God. This person actually is a free thinker. But they're not free thinking quite as hard as monkey boy in the attic. Set of lockpicks. Ash Blair Finest Tobacco. A pistol? David. Clean up the barn. Until Wednesday. I plan on continue. I plan to continue experimenting with the artifact EC. Edmund Cloudsley. A bag? With the same lockpicks as is in. I should probably go check the dead body soon. I should probably get to like, I don't know, checking the corpse. But I'm still kind of laser focused on, uh... Door to the outside, not locked. Oh my god. Let's check the rest of the quarters in here first. Four shillings and a penny. I will not change the rule that the staff member who has worked here the longest gets the bottom room. Do not bother me with such nonsense again. I will not change the rule that the staff member... Okay, staff member who's worked at the the longest gets bottom room. Which I believe makes this... How do we know who's worked... Okay. The staff member who's worked here the longest has the down with parasite stuff and the nicest room. Back of candles. They're going to talk to the master about it tomorrow. Candles for your room. Okay, so this is Lucius Smith. All right. This is Lucius Smith. Oh, we missed this. Hang on. I do hope our master's guests are satisfied that Brian served everything as instructed. Mrs. Smith, two eggs and a pot of tea each breakfast, no heavy food for dinner. You are responsible for little Pip doing his errands. Little Pip?
You guys had name? <laughs> I always assumed his name was Little Pip. You're telling me this is a we 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 treat this this thing like a like a actual child with a name? I I just assumed it was some kind of ghoul, some kind of freak. <laughs> Your name is Brian. <laughs> Welcome. Mr. Walker, I am to be woken up and dressed at 7 a.m. I expect to receive my daily newspaper by noon. Mrs. Baker, I expect all the rooms to be cleaned every day, twice on the days I have visitors. NB, David Gorin's job requires that he may arrive or leave during the night. No complaining about this. David Gorin. We don't know who that is yet or who that looks like. He needs to be able to leave in the middle of the night. Door's locked. Door's locked. A pair of twig dolls and a bottle of pink liquid, partially empty. Once your target has ingested the love potion, establish eye contact and hold it for as long as possible. In most cases, the effects will be felt within two days, depending on your own appearance. Okay. Four shillings. I will not change the rule. Okay. M. Mademoiselle, the laceless count. Oh, this is that. This is that. Filthy smut! That they were talking about. Wait. I can give you some candles for your room. Huh? I threw it out. I think we just need to get more like information from uh, the area. I think she just hasn't handed off the candle, so maybe it's actually Ada Smith. It's Ada Smith, and that's. Lee. For now, we're going to go with that. Because I don't think she said she had the cat. I'm going to take the fourth one. Wait, but there's two people with candles. Remember to take the fourth one from every row. Rallo, Cataloo, Star Child, Ink Pot, Stack of Candles. There's also this string thing, which could have only been hung out of this window with more lockpicks. We still have a lot of rooms left to inspect. Platanello, Ideal Republic, visions of a utopia with order and structure. Dr. Abram Anderton, Secret Codes. Such trivial ciphers as reading only the first word of every line are easy to produce on short notice, but extremely unsafe and easy to decode. Consider this simple example. Money, as a denominator of value, has evolved and changed a lot. Still, in savvy hands, it is a powerful tool. Money has changed hands. Oh my god. Remember to take the fourth one from every row. out for any letters I'm glad people just let me pick up this stuff big piece of meat cut vegetables basket of potatoes sack of flour a pair of opaque bottles labeled water lemons a pair of bread loaves a nice crisp piece of meat Well, 
for now, let's just continue inspecting all the basic stuff. And then we can worry about everything else. Due to the sensitivity of your stomach, I advise abstaining from alcohol for the next month. Also consider a glass of peptic tonic before eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system. Two sealed bottles of cloudy liquid labeled peptic tonic and a sealed bottle labeled opium. But where the fuck is monkey boy? But where the hell is Monkey Boy? Dear Edmund, this cannot continue. Since my return and move to Sebastian's Manor, he has asked for financial support seven times. He clearly is unable to take any monetary responsibility. Please, I need your help, my dear brother Rose Kubert. You know them from before. Dear Edmund, I like your idea. Let's send him to the colonies where his violent nature will make him feel at home. I hear you are having dinner with Lady Mary and her well-to-do father, Lothar. If Peter and I were to join you, we could beguile him with tales of adventures in the colonies so we can ship him away. Sincerely, Rose Kubert. Mrs. Baker's starting date... 1787, August 1st, 1787, position housemaid, yearly wage, nine pounds. So I'm guessing the entire servant system is like the newer you are, the closer to the top you are, which means whoever's at the top is also the person who did this string thing. I'm glad I'm just allowed to go in here because I did find the cursed idol, but it doesn't concern me currently. So I just don't, I just don't care. Well, well, Edmund, you seem pretty pleased after the old boy passed away and the spot freed up for you in the House of Lords. Take care of those with whom you ally. Take care of those with whom you ally. I have many friends and will deal with you swiftly if you dare cross me. Lord George Bridges. Okay. Name list is getting a little packed. Edmund Cloudsley, January 8th, 1788. Once more, you have failed to answer our requisition. This is the last warning you will receive. Your transgressions against us demand amends. Your only course of action you have is to surrender yourself to our justice. Last chance for repentance, serpent. But we will unleash one of our stewards upon you. What? Little Pip. Little Pip. Of course. Wait. It's the exact same. As the Tiger Man. What if it's a... What if it's a... What if it's a hint? All Monkey Boy would have to do to blend in with society is shave off... He looks like a Monkey Boy. Alright. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Lil Pip looks like a monkey boy. I'm not, not try. I'm. We can all agree he looks like a monkey boy. Okay. We should keep that in mind as we proceed. The revolution will come for the likes of you, you crooked bastard. Soon you will pay for your sins against the honest common folk with your blood. Final vanguard. Okay, take it easy, man. Dear uncle, I hear you're interested in Lady Richards. I think you are too old for her. I shall court her instead. Metal? Metal as hell, bro. That's a fucking, that's an epic letter. What's up, uncle? 
You're a little old for this one. I'll take it from here. How about you? How about you go back to playing bingo, you old bag? <laughs> You're dead to me. Secondly, please lend me 300 pounds. It's a small change to you, and I'm desperately in need of it at the present. Truly yours, Peter Batley. Holy shit. <laughs> that's that's some that's some giga chad stuff so i've been avoiding this room because there's just a lot going on in here uh let's just start with the people oh my lord this has nothing to do with me note to self if you get frustrated when working remember the tale about the rich lord who married his donkey and you will feel better See, ensure that the beautiful lady sits next to me during dinner, and I will slip you a shilling. Okay. Where's the donkey? Where's the donkey book? Because then we know where this guy was. Well, which room he's in? I swear to God, I saw the donkey thing. Who? Who was reading about the donkey? I remember seeing the donkey book. I saw the donkey. I saw it. It was real, man. No, 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 no. You killed my aunt, you devil! I should execute you on the spot! Good to see you, Peter. It's been a bit. I'd recognize that disgusting face anywhere. I'd recognize that look anywhere. Two pounds, a fork, and a deck, a pack of cards. Well, he's nothing. An opaque bottle labeled water, a roast, a salad bowl. Getting a lot of lore here. Brandy, wine, an almost full carafe of yellow liquid containing lemons. It's all coming together. We have everything we need. Chat. We have everything we need for the ad-libs puzzle. Blank wanted blank dead, and thus blank poisoned the blank, and hid the necessary key in a blank. At the dinner party, monkey boy! Wait, no, monkey boy would have died if it was that part. Fuck. Little Pip wanted monkey man dark hand dead, and thus Peter Batley poisoned the lemonade and hid the necessary key in a bag at the dinner party mattress roast ingested the poison and died and this must be the prodigal mattress roast what a beautiful name what a beautiful name yo you dead the lady's not breathing and her face is blotched. A fan, four pounds, rings with various gemstones. Well, we know who she is. That's the famous Rose Cubert. She does seem rather unwell. It's extremely upsetting. I'll tell you what's upsetting. The fucking folded towel on your head, dude. What the fuck is going on? Rude? Nah. Nah, I'm worried about him. It's poison! Nobody touch a thing and nobody move! I'll send for a doctor right away. We all know who this guy is, Edmund Cloudsley. Famous. Well known. This is horrible! I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have no idea who the fuck this one is. I don't know who this girl is. Who the fuck is this? Mary. Don't remember the last name. I have no idea who it is, though. There's a note for it somewhere. Well, well, well. If it isn't Brian Monkey Man. <laughs> Monkey Boy. What have we here? What have we here? Thought you could get away with it, huh? You rat bastard. Lady Mary and her well-to-do father, Lothar. That's gotta be Lothar. Mary and Lothar, what's their last name though? Be the last name of one of these two clowns to finish this puzzle. We need the last name. Lord George Bridges. Who the fuck is George Bridges? <laughs> Who the fuck is George Bridges? Wait, hold up. Seemed pretty pleased after the old boy passed away and his spot freed up for you in the house of the Lord to take care of those with whom you ally. I have many friends that will... George Bridges, I don't think is here. I think this guy's a... I think he's a trick. I don't think he's present. He's not at this. Peter Batley. Wait! You're telling me the guy, the the Giga Chad, who left that letter was was the fucking bozo that we know so well? This is the guy who was like, Uncle, step aside, give me 300 pounds now. Was this guy? Don't know about that one, man. Okay, well, note to self, when you get frustrated work, remember the tale about the rich lord who married his donkey and you will feel better. Chad, I'm beginning to think that this bottom bunk isn't Either of the girls. I'm starting to think it might be this guy. I think he I think he fucking hates every I think he hates these people. Cause there are two people that have candles in their room. And he's the oldest one. It might just be coincidence that someone else... Because Mrs. Baker only started working here in 1787. The day of this game right now is... Like, they would have had to have started working a year ago. Like, this is like a year ago when they started working. <clears throat> okay, this is not like... They haven't had the fucking time. They haven't been working here long enough. They ain't gonna ask for a raise like that. Hang on. One pound, two shillings. Ink, stack of candles. Paper, seal pot, print paint. Hmm. Note to self, if you get frustrated and work, remember the tale about the rich lord who married his donkey and you will feel better. We still have that code thing, too. We have the code thing. Right here. This has to exist for a reason. We're going to take the fourth one from every row. Fourth word or fourth letter is the question on that.
We don't have many more people to to use. Who? Where did we get David Gorin from? I'm not sure we got that. I think it was a letter. I have no idea where we got David Gorin. This place is pissing me the fuck off. Eating salad. Hang on. Partially smoked cigar. Money. I'm just checking what people have on them. This guy. Hmm. I disguise the mystery right now. Is this servant? I think it's the servants that are really. They're, they're the ones stun-locking me. Thank you, Jerry. Threw it out. I do not read such dirty literature anymore. I hope our master guests are satisfied and that Brian served everything as instructed. Why the fuck do I have Little Pip labeled as Brian? I was a fool to believe that you were anyone other than a lad named Little Pip. Okay? I, I don't know where the fuck... Th this kid's name is Little Pip. NB. NB. Do we have a person with an N? Because NB can't mean... NB. Nunky man. You're right. <laughs> You're right. There's so many things N could mean. Yeah, we don't have anything for N, but we have every name. Skip. <laughs> skip it. Just skip this part. <laughs> Skip. Go to the next hint. Mr. Walker has to be this guy. Brian Walker. Has to be Brian Walker. Mary. I'm going to go with Baker for these two. Actually, no. We still need Lucia, though. Bridges. We know everything else here is correct. We just don't know the last name of these two and Lucia's for last name. Richards, perhaps? Two or less slots are incorrect. I think it's the last name of these two. Wait, so you're telling me with these two, like this, two or less slots. Okay. It seems like no matter what. What if Little Pip's the problem? You know what I mean? What if Little Pip is the problem? <laughs> Lucia Darkhand! You think? No, that's not gonna be it. Ah, uh, yes. I made a mistake. This was my mistake. Little Monkey Man.
It's Lucia. I don't know what Lucia's problem is, but they're the problem. What is their last, what's their last name? It might also be something else as well. This fucking lady. Lucia has the fucking problem. Mrs. Smith or Mrs. Baker are the only two. Okay. Woo! Okay, that clears out the fucking name blocks. Time to get to the actual work. So we know Rose Kubert digested the poison, ingested poison and died. We know little Pip lives in the room with the monkey boy comic because of course he does. Brian Walker has the most seniority followed by Lucius Smith followed by Ada Baker. Wait a minute, no, no, no. Is there one extra person here? I'm just doing some spitballing here, quick. There was a note that someone had to be able to leave quickly and easily. Uh, in a letter. Who had that? Someone had a letter that was like, I, someone has to be allowed to leave really easily whenever they want. It's probably someone we haven't seen, because they're probably not here. I'll be sitting around this letter. Where? David, clean up the barn. So we know David. Wait, where the fuck is David? Who the fuck is David? Wait, what? David, clean up the barn on Wednesday. I plan to continue experimenting with the artifact. Someone here is missing. He forgot who David is. Dave is your friend? Who's David? Where did I get the name David? I must have gotten it from the note. We still have the fucking, like... I will not change the rule that staff member who's worked here the longest gets the bottom room. Do not bother me with this nonsense again. I think it has to be Lucia Smith here because she said she threw this out, but she didn't actually, the book. She's actually fucking obsessed with it. Which is why she has that love potion. I'm not sure what... It, little Pip gets the fucking shithole room. There's no way he does it. Which means Ada... I just don't... Hmm. We know Brian Walker's probably at the bottom. We know Lucia Smith is in the middle. We don't know who this David guy fucking is. We don't know where Monkey Man is. That's why this weird fucking string doesn't make any sense. Three. Four. So the farther down we go, the more money it seems like people are making. There's a note, the Ash Blair finest tobacco thing. I remember that over here. There was a note for little Pip for it. David. Run to the city and grab me some ash blur tobacco and a bottle of gin. Tell me who David is! I grab a little Pip and I pick him up. Look me in the eyes, boy! Tell me who he is! Let's 
stop yelling. Who's David, man? Wait, wasn't it David Gorin? Hang on. <laughs> Hold up a second here. Wasn't there David Gorin? Wasn't that the one? Hold on, I think I might have remembered. It might have been David Gorin. Who's da when did we get a David Gorin? Wait a minute. I remember I remember David Gorin being something. Where did we find that? Everyone get out of my way! Y'all see a David Gorin? Anyone know a David Gorin? Ah. Let's just plug this in just to be sure. Simple as that, man. All right, we got there. Little Pip is Monkey Boy. We knew it. We knew it. We just had to plug in the last thing. David Gorin is not present. Now all we need to do is complete the mystery and figure out who was sitting where. Which is probably the hardest part. Partially empty glass of red liquid. Partially empty glass of amber liquid. Red liquid. Red liquid. Cloudy liquid. The cloudy liquid is this dude's peptic tonic, which means this is Cloudsley. Cloudsley sat here with the fuck untouched. Partially empty on his. Due to the insensitivity, due to the sensitivity of your stomach, I advise abstaining from alcohol for the next month. I also consider a glass of peptic tonic for eating to avoid upsetting your digestive system. Cloudsley could have only been sitting here or here, but he's probably sitting at the head of the table because he owned this building. But why would, but he, he's aware that he shouldn't be drinking alcohol. So Edmund Cloudsley probably wouldn't be drinking any in actuality. He'd probably eat stuff that's light on his stomach. Therefore, he'd probably not eat anything at all. Okay. Who's another bozo with bad stomach? <laughs> We know that Mary Richards would have been sitting next to Peter Batley. Wait, this guy doesn't have a shilling. Oh my God. Partially smoked cigar. There's only one person that was using cigars. It was this guy with the hat. We never went in here! Dear Miss Richards, what's this part? Dear Mary, here's something for your diary from me. For you, I would fight a tiger and win. Peter Batley. I hate Peter, dude. I want Peter to die. I don't like Peter. So we know this is Mary. I would say... Okay, and actually it seems here that Monkey Boy stole an expensive cigar from this guy's coat. I think it's reasonable to say that the coat of Lothar and Mary would be next to each other. I think that's re that's that makes sense to me. Because that's Mary. Mm 
That makes sense. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Right now. Rose is the only one that drank something unique. Which is the yellow liquid. There's also that amber liquid. So Rose can be either sitting here or here. A partially eating salad and a partially eating piece of roast. Green liquid! That or that salad! Check the floor. Is there any salad goo anywhere? Rose was sitting here, yellow drink. That is, it was the, that it was the brown and red drink and that's why your face is blotched with like a red. I don't know, it's interchangeable. Either way, we know that Lothar Richards was sitting here. He liked his cigars. Let me check if he has any on him. Four pounds and a shilling. We'll have to see. Because we're gonna plug in the last one. If it doesn't work, then we're gonna do some swapping around because Rose could only be sitting in one more place. Peter Batley. Okay. Peter Batley was sitting here then. And Rose was sitting over here. Pissy be the fuck off. But what if the servant put them in the middle of... Now what if Rose was over here and Peter Batley was over here? This is all part of my five point solution. And now what, what, what if Lothar was sitting over here? <laughs> this is when we surrender and we, uh, we stop what we're doing and we clean up, we clean this off. Just for a minute. There's still more we're missing. I don't want to brute force it. Cause there's this over here. Peptic tonic. Yellow liquid containing lemons, wine, brandy is the amber liquid. Salad bowl, roast, and water. Let's go back to the medicine cabinet. Blue key, opium, peptic tonic, two bottles. I think it, I do still think it makes sense that he just wouldn't eat anything. Clear liquid. Wait, hang on. No, this is totally Cloudsley. Because he didn't have wine. He knew he couldn't. That's not wine. That's a clear liquid. That's not empty, which I thought it was here. This has to be Cloudsley because he knew he couldn't drink anything. That's Edmund Cloudsley, no matter what. Now, hang on a second here. Brandy, sealed, full and sealed. Full and sealed wine, so it can't be the wine or the brandy. So it's not the amber liquid that was, I don't think it could be. To Mrs. Smith, oh, that we already got that. So how do I Oh my God, it's all making sense now. It's all coming together. Monkey boy. Bottle of amber liquid. Fancy handkerchief and a pocket watch. Monkey boy, monkey man. The lock pick sets required. Brandy. I need to check the heart key. Who had that? It's gentle curves in it. Oh my god.
It was Monkey Boy. He's been stealing. He's been stealing. But what if he's also been killing? What if he's also been killing? Chat. Monkey Boy's been smiling with his teeth for quite some time, methinks. Helping himself around the house, around the manor, to whatever he so pleases. Taking anything he wants. Swiping whatever he can. Something's off. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't drink anything with an amber liquid right now. Not with Monkey Boy on the loose. Not with Monkey Boy doing what they do on the regular. Bottle of pink liquid. Chat. That pink liquid very, very well have been some kind of poison. This person seems to be, who is of course, Lucius Smith. They seem to be obsessed with love. Obsessed. Obsessed. Now a pink liquid inside of a clear or yellow colored beverage Okay. That would be very obvious. Any colored, any colored beverage. It'd be very obvious if you introduced another liquid to it. It has to be the brandy that she drank. Which means Rose was sitting here. Who here drinks only lemons? Mary Richards. That's, I have nothing for that. I'm just guessing on that one. Now over here is where Lothar Richards sat. And here is where Peter Badley sat. Fucking damn it. Really thought I was onto something that time. Let me do the swap quick. Wait. Oh my god. A fork in Peter Batley's hand. One fork missing. Peter Batley, you sly dog. Mary Richards. And Rose Cubert can be interchanged now between the two. Peter Batley and Edward Cloudsley would have sat between one another. Yes. The pieces of the puzzle finally fall into place. Monkey Boy. <laughs> Monkey Boy isn't going to get away with it for much longer. That's something we all know. Okay? We all know Monkey Boy is not getting away with anything anymore. I still have no fucking idea what's happening in here, though. This is all big news. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do a spitball here. Uh, Peter Batley wanted Edmonds Cloudly dead, and thus we're gonna say here, uh, Lucius Smith. Yeah, sure, we'll just sort of spitball this for a fucking second. Poisoned the only thing that, of course, Rose drank, which was the pep. Do bismol <laughs> The tonic. 
need the necessary key inside of a mattress. Okay. Uh, the tonic is correct. Uh, I was actually doing some just random spitballing here. The tonic is 100% correct because someone wanted Edmund Cloudsley dead. And Edmund Cloudsley didn't drink any of the tonic, but Rose did. So Rose died. And I'm guessing Peter Batley was the one. So what we're missing is who did the poisoning. And where the key was hit. I think what we're looking at here is Lucia Smith did do it. I think Lucia Smith did it specifically because I actually, yeah, hang on. I don't think Lucia Smith intentionally poisoned them. I think what happens is Lucius Smith thought that this love potion would lead to them getting that raise they wanted. They did it for the cash money. Where did they hide it? get inside of it. Well, that's the first step. The only people that could get inside the peptic tonic is people with the blue key. Blue key is, of course, looks like that. Oh my god. Oh my god, but Ada Baker was on the top floor. It was hidden inside the bag. But it wasn't Lucia Smith. Ada Baker. But what are we missing? Because it's not Lucia Smith, right? Okay, so Ada Baker is the correct thing. So Ada Baker. Bag is correct as well. Rose Cuber ingested it and died. That is also correct. I think it's that Peter wasn't the one that wanted them dead. Peter didn't care. Lucky break this time, monkey boy. I know it. Nope, I was wrong. Shut up! My dog's barking. Quiet! Stop! 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 Please! Stop! I know who it was. It was George Monkey Man who did the crime. Yes. Well, if we just interchange the names, eventually we'll technically get it. If it's that, that's the problem. Because it's not Peter. What if Mary Richards wanted him dead? No, we already checked Lothar. Brian Walker doesn't want him dead. Lucia Smith doesn't want them dead. What if Edmund Cloudsley wanted Edmund's... Wait.
Edmund Cloudsley, once more you have failed to answer our requisition. This is the last warning you will receive. Your transgressions against us demand amends. Your only course of action is to surrender yourself to our justice. Last chance for repentance, serpent, or we will unleash one of our stewards upon you. Brotherhood of Masks. The revolution will come for the likes of you, you crooked bastard. Soon you will pay for your sins against the honest common folk with your blood. Final vanguard. It was no one in specific that wanted Edmund dead. Really? Come on, man! Monkey Man Dark Hand. If that went through, I would have left. I thought that was it, too. Fuck, I just wish I could get it narrowed down a tiny bit more, because it's just the name, it feels like. Edmund Cloudsley is correct. Who's to say that it was actually... Hang on. Hold up. Final Vanguard. Bottom floor included revolutionary stuff. Brian Walker poisoned him. He was the one prepping the water and the food. Wait, really? Okay. So it literally is Ada Baker. I thought maybe somehow it swapped around. It is Ada Baker. It is just the name that's wrong. Necessary keys in the bag. Rose Kubert was killed. The name is what's fucked. There has to be some kind of... There's still this code thing. Remember to take the fourth one from every row. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's something hidden in this. The revolution... Will of... There's no fourth one in this row, unless we're doing letters. Also doesn't work like that. Have is received no. E, R, earn. Earn, written, earn, written. Hmm. This is rough because it feels like I'm right on the edge of it and that's like the hardest part. Stewards. Because it seems like there's two parties that wanted him dead. The stewards, Brotherhoods of the Mask, and the final vanguard. There's a hand on the note for this one. Hand on the note for the stamp. Star on the stamp. This one, it doesn't matter. There's a, it has to have a reason for these to be here. There has to be a reason. There's got to be a reason. Wait. Dark hand. No fucking way they gave us Dark Hand because, of, because Dark Hand did the crime. There's just no way. Striped Dark Hand. No. I refuse to believe it. Oops. George Dark Hand. Steward Dark Hand. <laughs> Final Dark Hand. <laughs> Damn you, George. Why can't you have died? Why can't you have like enemies that are easier to understand? What if... 
Okay, I just wanted to make sure somehow Rose didn't manage to turn this around and be, and we're sure little Pip didn't do it. Yes. Okay, I just wanted to double check it again. Just to be 100% sure, little Pip had nothing to do with this. There's only one name that we have, but I punched in George Bridges and it didn't come through with anything. But I kind of want to find where it came from and check where I actually got that from. I wish you would tell me the origins of the note I have at any point in time. Peter, Stewart, Final Vanguard, Edmund. You seem pretty pleased after the old boy passed. A spot freed up for you in the House of Lords. Take care with whom you ally. I have many friends who will deal with you swiftly if you dare cross me. Lord George Bridges. It seems like... Is there a possibility that someone... There's another thing possibly wrong here? check something god damn it stop stop dude why is it closing it hello oh it was like actually bug partially empty full glass of cloudy liquid okay partially eaten piece of roast partially eaten salad partially drank was where Rose was sitting. Partially eaten, partially eaten, partially eaten, partially empty, partially empty. So it was the cloudy liquid, which means we know it's the blue thing. We know it's the tonic. Oh, God, this is rough. I'm actually like very surprised. I know I'm like missing like one tiny fucking thing. Hang on. I'm pretty pleased. No, the fourth letter thing is just, I think that's bullshit. God, I really... See, I don't want, like, a full hint. I would just love, like, a... Let me narrow it down a little bit more. Is what I wouldn't mind this game giving me the option for. Like, I don't want, like, a... Like, I, I wouldn't mind it just being like, Hey, this is... This thing is good. Because I don't know if there's maybe, like, one other thing. Two or less slots. Try this. Stuart George. Vanguard, George. Vanguard Bridges. Steward Bridges. It might be Monkey Boy. If only there was a hint system. Dude. I don't want a hint yet. That's why I haven't used it. Because I feel like I'm like on the edge of using it and it'd feel really bad if I needed to use it two inches from being done. Chill out, chat. This game's not easy. Hmm. I feel like I need to go back through the letters is the problem. Edmund, I'd like your idea. No. It's stuff he would have thrown out. Oh. 
Unless it's as simple as Ada Baker wanting them dead. God, it's just so... The two or less slots thing is so annoying because it is literally just this. I mean, I guess I could do this in a different direction and confirm it this way. Hang on. I'm gonna punch in some other stuff here, noting that Ada is still there. And just... It's definitely, it's definitely Ada for this. Yeah. So, God, this is so frustrating. This is like, this is, because I, I know I'm at the fucking absolute tip of it. I have everything I need. Final Vanguard, Steward, George Bridges. We know it can't be anything with the bag because Hang on, I'm gonna punch in the wrong thing again just so I can make sure that everything else is correct. We're gonna narrow it down like that. Okay. Bag, correct. Tonic, correct. And we know Obviously, it was Edmund that was supposed to be dead. Okay. <laughs> it can't be the monkey man, dude. Try David Gorf. Lockpicks and a pistol. This was technically at the level he could reach it, too. He's not here right now. Fuck, I, this is so frustrating. It's the exact same feeling I had when I played fucking Outer Wilds and you'd miss one tiny fucking thing. And it would drive you crazy forever. Until you get it right. I don't like how it changed how it moves all my stuff around. Stuart George. I'm, I'm just like punching in the <laughs> final George. Stuart Gorin. Stuart David. I do wish it would narrow down to you have one thing still wrong. It would be kind of by me. We went down all, everyone here. I mean, obviously, I feel like I have at this point, and I'm just going crazy. Little Pip didn't want anyone dead. We know Little Pip didn't want anyone dead. We Monkey Man Dark Hand is a nothing thing. We're moving that out of the way. We also know all this isn't necessary. Get the fuck out of the way. We know Monkey Man Dark Hand didn't do anything. Final Vanguard, George Bridges. God damn it.
Revolution will come for the likes of you crooked bastards. Soon you will pay for the sins against the honest common folk with your blood. Final Vanguard. The only thing I can think of is that bottom guy here. Ordeus the wise slave. Hang on. The temptation to click the hint button is so fucking hard. Like, uh, it's ridiculous. Why would they give this to me if not because it was necessary? Remember to take fourth run one from every row. Just like solve it, my dude. Just like solve it, my guy. <laughs> solve it! Aphorism number 52. How to solve a murder mystery. Just do it. Yeah. True, man. True. I need to go through everything Ada had. Like, everything. Because we know Ada did the poisoning. So we need to decipher everything Ada owns. I'm gonna check what's on her. It's, I'm gonna feel really bad if it was this. God damn it, it totally was and I fucking forgot it existed. Use substance to remove target sincerely dark and god fucking damn it monkey boy <laughs> god damn it dark hand steward fuck you dude i don't know why i, I like you know what i'd really you know what would really be, like help me as a brainlet it would be nice if the game let me click on their icons here and go straight to them go straight to their inventory because I didn't remember that letter existed because it's the first thing I did when I came in an hour ago. That's the problem is I, I was so focused on everything else in front of me that like I was never gonna go back to check their inventory. Okay. So is Dark Hand Steward. The scroll has been fulfilled. Ada Baker received encoded instructions from Dark Hand Steward to poison Edmund Cloudsley. She used her ability to move freely throughout the rooms while cleaning and made a copy of the key to the medicine cabinet. She used a syringe to poison a sealed peptic tonic bottle. However, during the party, Rose asked for tonic and drank it first and died from the poison. All right. I got time to do another. The explosive events in the forest cabin. Oh wait, was there like a... Is there another cutscene? No. One more last, one last job, chat! One last job! 
Birkin Workhouse, Henchman for Hire in Timberbrook Region, Billy Cracker, Oakwood Gang, Brawler, Robber, Hardy Abe, Birkin Workhouse, Brawler has a cart. God. Move. All right. Hardy Abe. Another name. Little Billy. Okay. Put that there. Jack Nails. Timberbrook in Burglar Picklock. God, this game's fucking awesome, though. I'll give it that. These are all very well done. Hobbs Gang Burglar enters through chimneys. Timberbrook in Burglar Picklock. This is important. Enters through chimneys. For sure. I, you know what I also like? That this game, I think, would benefit from? Ability to highlight. Like, ability for me to, like, hold control and draw something on the screen that will stay there on whatever I'm interacting with. So like for this, so I can like hold control and draw an underline on enters through chimney so I see it. Cause sometimes I remember this stuff now, I'm totally gonna forget it in fucking 20, 30 minutes. Like a notes page basically. Cause I don't think there is one to my knowledge. It's just the thinking panel. Which doesn't really give you that much. You just have this down here, which gets kind of crowded. Box of confectionery and some hats. A little horse. Okay, so what happened here? What's. Oh no. Go, coin, go! It's Monkey Boy! Well, 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 Monkey Boy, you rat bastard. Thought you'd get away with it, huh? Not today. Never again. I knew you did something. He released a hound upon this house. Okay, so this guy, the man is breathing but appears to have lost consciousness. I do not care what means you use to acquire what I need, but remember to be discreet as always. Note that I do not want it to be, I do not want it to decay. The more recently it has died, the better. E.C. One of the old workhouse geezers croaked yesterday. We'll arrange for a cart to move the corpse if you send me directions. Be quick, or they bury him. I don't want to dig up that stiff. Five shillings, a key, and a loaded pistol. Loaded. Loaded. A scarecrow in a wooden coffin. So that was what the body was going to be. The body was swapped already. There's a scarecrow in it. Ah, by the gods, what was that? Gentleman robber strikes in Westbrook. The infamous gentleman wob robber, Walter Keane. With a number of unnamed associates held up a coach on the southern road leading out of Westbrook. The scoundrel robbed the passengers of all their valuables, kissed a young lady, then left. This is already the fifth robbery by the infamous gentleman, who, as is his custom, appeared wearing an impeccable suit and a new hat in the latest style. The reward for catching Walter Keane has been increased to a hundred pounds. I'm guessing that's Walter. Or a copycat, he doesn't have the same hat. Everyone, you are not to visit any village or city without my permission. At no point may you disclose the location of the cabin. Mr. David Gorin. I'm gonna move all this other stuff here. David Gorin. You are in charge of all security and arms. Lucia Smith. You will taste any food you cook before it is presented to me. Little Pip. He really doesn't have a name. He really doesn't have a name, dude. Little Pip, you're in charge of Black Bestia and Golden Doubloon. That's the name of the dogs. Black Bestia. Golden Doubloon. Edmund Cloudsley. We know Edmund. It's a dog. Go, coin, go. Golden Doubloon. That must be how Lil Pip must have named Golden Doubloon coin. Go, coin! Classic monkey boy. Ah! A sword? A ruby with a, a red ring uh, ruby thing. Wrapped piece of confectionery and a loaded pistol. So what the hell happened? Wild. All right, this is, what am I, some kind of time detective? What the heck's going on here? 
What am I, some kind of freaking time detective? All right, let me take a look. This guy's freaking dead as hell. He's got a club. Not much else to him. Looks like the latch was slammed right off somehow. Oh yeah, it got broken off. All right, that's important to know. Shard of a vase. I finally have the location of my target. Meet us on November 10th, Friday, in the Timberbrook Inn and bring all of your tools. You get your share as we agree. WK, that's Walter Keen. A saw, is it a lock picks, another loaded pistol. Oh my god. A small weight is tied to the pull down lever at the back of the idol. Some kind of spell was cast. Rotten apple and a green apple. <laughs> Who the hell is this? Oh my god! That's Edmund Cloudsley! Edmund freaking Cloudsley? What the heck? What are you doing in here? Vacuum V1. This simply did not work. After I aimed at the sealed vessel and activated the idol, both air and the vessel disappeared. Upon further consideration, it was an obvious mistake. Attempted with this input, and it was a definite improvement. It decreased the amount of air... But curiously, still did not create a complete vacuum in the sealed vessel. Gold filter. That probably was why they wanted it. The target must contain some gold for this to work. Seawater is a suitable target, for example. However, a great deal of seawater would be required for this to yield any significant amount. Perhaps I should try it on a ship in an open sea. First step, get gold by aiming at the target. Second step, aim an empty vessel to retrieve it. What? The hell's going on? Huh? Unknown effect. If the implications of this are what I surmise, this could be a tremendous discovery. Next step is to progress from fruit to something more, some more advanced organic matter. This all makes sense to me, Chet. I don't know why the fuck you guys are question marking. It's thaumaturgy, basic thaumaturgy. I must ask David to fetch me a dead body for further experiments. This is vitally urgent. Can't help but feel like there's a reason for this. The apple thing, it's gotta be from the, the that whole thing. Spontaneous combustion, we know this already. Interesting. The speed at which heat is increased appears to be influenced by how strongly I press the trigger and how long I performed. I have performed the like upside down J before it. Okay. Freezing. Observation. Freezing the target rapidly can create curious side effects. For instance, I should be careful when freezing water in a sealed bottle. It exploded and glass shards flew everywhere. Safety notice. Upon pulling the trigger, if the glyph's input is meaningful, the idol will perform the intended action on the target it can see. If its eye is red, it is ready for J input and will turn blue afterwards. If the eye is blue, you can only perform J dot input. After that, it will turn red. A loaded pistol. We have everything we need to solve this. Although we may to check their hands, apparently. It has some kind of nails crossing on his hand. Lots of stuff, but I think I can solve this. Let's punch in names first. Edmund Cloudsley. Walter Keane. The dog is Golden Doubloon. Uh, Little Pip. Get all the names down. Little Pip. Lucia Smith. That's David Gorin. And then we have two nondescript criminals. I need to go back into here to ID them. Billy Cracker. Brawler. Robber. Brawler has a cart. One of these has to be Hardy Abe because of the Berkham Workhouse cart. One of them's Hardy Abe. Jack Nails. All right, I know him. We got all the names. Uh, this is Jack Nails. Blue guy's Jack Nails on account of the nails on his hand. 
Which makes the other one. Uh, what was their name on the outside? Dude, I, I gotta blast through this one quickly to make up for how much time I lost last time. Uh, Hardy Ape. Hardy Ape, names? Done. Clears out a lot of space. I don't think Black Bestia or Billy Cracker are gonna be really necessary now. Uh, let's stack them up in the corner. Look at the idol now. Okay. So it looks like this was a pre planned explosion. Here. We go into the notes. Vacuum. It decreased the amount of air, but curiously did not create a complete vacuum. Decrease. Decrease, decrease. Decreasing the amount of gold in water, increasing the amount of gold in something else. Decrease is J with a dot, increase is J no dot. Increase, decrease. I can guarantee it. Interesting, the speed at which the heat is increased appears to be influenced by how strongly I press the trigger, how long I have performed Okay, so that's decreasing the temperature of something. That's increasing the temperature of something. Okay. Uh, still need to, how many other ones do I have to ID? Pretty much all of them. And they could be a blue or a yellow. Is the gold thing unique? Okay, I'm going to have to say that this is gold for now. Uh, I'm guessing that this thing here, circle and two lines, is matter. I'm guessing it's just matter. Right now. Matter. What about the two blocks? Heat. Do I need to do heat? We're gonna say this is heat. For now. And that's vacuum. So we're gonna say that that's air. Easy. All right. We have everything we need to solve this. When blank and blank entered the room, let's do that first. Hardy Abe. We're going to work backwards. Hardy Abe and Jack Nails entered the room. The vase exploded and killed them both. So, blank needed a blank. Blank, along with accomplices, Walter Keen, along with accomplices, delivered a blank. A a coffin I believe okay so Edmund Cloudsley needed a corpse Walter Keene along with accomplices delivered a coffin which had a scarecrow in it not a real body upon entering blank suddenly blank blank upon entering David Gorin suddenly Oh hang on no 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 Upon entering someone else likely with a club So in this case yellow here Hardy Abe Hardy Abe suddenly clubbed David Gorin Meanwhile 
blank, blank the amount of blank in a sealed blank. In a sealed blank. I'm not seeing a sealed thing. It says meanwhile. So if Hardy Ape did one of them, that means Jack Nails. What does Jack Nails have on him? A saw. Meanwhile, someone, at this point, someone, in a sealed vase. It could only be the vase. I don't think it's Jack Nails. Meanwhile, someone shot, stabbed, clubbed, or exploded the amount of... Water? Oh, there's still these over here. I'm stupid. I didn't even remember these ones over here. Uh... Increased. No, decreased. The amount of air. Okay, so it's just tim it's just tinkering with this. I just need to check what causes a face to explode again in his notes. Vacuum decreased the amount of air. Yeah. Yeah, decreased the amount of air. It says meanwhile we might be able to swap party we might be able to put uh jack nails in here since he was on top of it okay so it is edmund cloudsley so it's just a matter of the technicality of this in a sealed base Spontaneous combustion exploded. The explosion one freezing. Rapidly freezing the target rapidly. Decreased the amount of heat in the sealed vase. Really? Well, let's go through this one more time. Because I think decreased heat in the vase is the right thing. Let's just go through the notes, because I think the notes is the problem. And what was on this? What was the actual thing that was happening? Because it still tell me. Increase. Increasing air. It's as simple as that. The scroll has been fulfilled. To gain entrance to Edmund Cloudsley's secret forest cabin, gentleman of Robert Walter Keane pretended to deliver a corpse to Edmund for his experiments. On entering the cabin, the robbers ambushed the servants, and Edmund locked himself in his study. While the robbers were sawing through the lock, Edmund prepared a trap with the idol that killed two of the intruders. I didn't realize Edmund was bald until now. You know, some would say that's the real mystery in all of this, Jet. I didn't realize Edmund was fucking bald. I can't believe Monkey Boy got away with it again without any evidence. That's why he's one of the best. That's why he's one of the best. Then, Sir Coroner, the bandits accidentally set off my master's laboratory chemical ingredients. 
What happened afterwards? I managed to fend the rest of them off, but my master, Lord Edmund Clodsley, got caught in the blast, which severely disfigured him. And soon afterwards, he died, bless his soul. Oh my god. This one looks interesting. We can, we, got time. we can do one more. I'm having fun with this. We'll do one more. The Ascent. The Strange Practices of a Secretive Society. Just seeing all those different colors. The amount of boxes. What have I done? This one could be a fucking long one, dude. I don't know. Okay, there's some guy. There's some guy tied up in a bush. Oh, boy. He's gonna be late. I have an hour before D&D. &D. We don't start till 8, if I remember. Mm. Well, well, well. Dark Hand Eye. I'm not surprised. He has a gun on him. David! The gathering will be on March 14th. To follow our plan, we should be there at least two hours before midnight. The target will arrive in full costume. Grab rope and weapons. WK. Ash Blair. David Gorin. Good to see you, man. At least you made this easy. He's Darkhand Gorin. He's something else Gorin. It, it is David Gorin we're looking at, but he needs some kind of identifier, is what the game wants. The game wants his position at this cult. Tracks leading all over the place, leading into some kind of scary room. Oh my god. <laughs> That's one of the most high-quality lions I've ever seen. What the frick? The dark hands, the proud beasts, and the water snakes. Nope. 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 Fuck you, dude! Well, I can tell you one thing. That there's a dark hand. That there's a water snake. That there's a proud beast. Okay. I tried my hardest. Let's keep exploring. Nope. Masters, I ventured on the Order's mission to reclaim our fire-breathing relic and with great resolve punish the despicable enemy. I, with a few brave companions, fearlessly entered his hideout in a remote hunting cabin. But the devil had prepared a treacherous trap. The explosion slaughtered my dearest friends as we entered his study. Thanks to my sturdy physique, I survived the blast, only to be assaulted by the enemy's lackey, assassin warrior David Garan, and a pack of bloodthirsty hounds. After an hour of fight, I received numerous deadly wounds in spite of which I prevailed and defeated my assailants with my martial training. I discovered the enemy's dead body slain by the trap of his own making, but no trace of the relic. I'm forced to go into hiding because of the government's watchmen are tracking. Once I have recovered from my deadly wounds and shaken off the watchmen, I will send you my next report. May the griffin awaken, Walter Keith. You tell me I gotta ID who all these clowns are? That's what I have to do here? All right. Masters, I must apologize a thousand times for my absence, but my road to recovery was full of peril and valor that cannot be sufficiently conveyed in writing. The government dogs and spies chased me tirelessly, and I was forced to seek refuge in Aquitania to recover from my still dire wounds. There, I finally bested my pursuers with the help of Lazarus Hurst, a young, resourceful gentleman whom I met in a remote manor one dark winter's night. Not only did he earn my trust by stepping into the fray against the villains, but he turned out to be well-versed in the arcane arts, of course, not yet 
close to your skills. I have finally recovered and plan to return to Albion. I suggest that Lazarus would make a fine addition to the order. I vouch for him and will invite him to undergo the appropriate trial. May the Griffin awaken. Found Lazarus. Okay, uh, next one. Illuminated Masters. I object to the admittance of the individual Lazarus Hurst to our brethren. I submit that our dark hand brother Walter Keen, who vouches for him, Walter's a dark hand, cannot be trusted because he is a liar and a thief. I'm certain that on dispatching our enemy, he kept the golden fire breathing relic for himself. Nothing will move me on this. He must produce the relic, apologize personally to me, and afterwards be expelled from the Brotherhood, Jeffrey Sinclair. These guys are the freaking Illuminati or something. What the heck? Oh my god. What's up? Okay. Okay. Is that goddamn monkey man? You're gonna tell me that the monkey man has been real. Hold up. I've been joking. Let's all be clear. I've been joking about Monkey Boy. But now I'm thinking Case of the Golden Idol, okay? Monkey Paw Island, okay? The game started on Monkey Paw Island. He's real. He's real. The monkey is real, chat. Oh my god! Prepare to receive what you have earned. Hey, hi. What? Yeah, I'm a detective. Uh, I'm actually just here to do, pick up some evidence before uh, you guys can keep doing whatever it is you're doing. I just wanna. If I ask you some questions, if I read your notes in your pockets. Brother, a member of our order has proposed a new candidate to join our brotherhood. Our brother's trustworthiness, however, has been challenged. Therefore, we've decided to take measures to resolve the fate of these individuals. If the brother proves himself, he can vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer survives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. You are summoned to join our gathering on March 14th. Fulfill your role in the rights of the brotherhood. Council of Masters. I, Lion, Two Ruby Ring. This guy's gotta be, this gotta be Proud Beast. So this is the Proud Beast uniform. Which really already sounds like, I don't know, most of these like, all three of these divisions of this group all sound equally problematic. I'm going to be honest. They probably should have stepped back and taken a look at that at some point. Like, I don't know, I'd be like, guys, this all this sounds extremely bad. All right, so that's a proud beast. I'm going to bet these are actually dark hand and this is water snake. But we'll Still, actually, we have everything we need to see the matching, so uh, that's always going to be the same thing no matter what. Wait. Oh, they are all just wearing different shit. All right, there's no matching uniforms. None of it matters. None of it's ever mattered. I've signaled to the Griffin who I am. I accept my fate, whatever it may be. Who is? Who are you? Inception. You must endure the tests of snail fire water tree administered by proud beast steward evaluation okay let's just get all these on the thing you must endure the tests of tree fire time water administered by dark hand steward or master you must endure the tests of star fire water snail what <laughs> the, 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 take me to snort <laughs> chat you're telling me this place is like, and this is, is this a snail cult? You must carry your house on your back everywhere you go. You must live the life of a snail. 
This is a snail. This is a, this place like snails. Brothers, wear robes appropriate to their rank: master, steward, initiate. Hand and an eye. This was a. This guy's only a. Whoever this guy is, whoever this bozo is, he was a dark hand initiate. This guy's some dark hand initiate bozo. Pathetic. Pathetic. Cringe. So this is the room I've been avoiding, because it's a whole lot. Done when an accuser has challenged a defender. Both drinkers must be barefoot. Substances added depending on the severity of the accusation, including deadly poison. Add substance to one of the cups. Defender chooses first. Accuser chooses the remaining. Both partake in the cups. Okay. Griffin has spoken. A tray with a small vial of unknown substance. And a ruby. Alright. The griffin has spoken. Okay. Two cups on the stone altar. They contain some wine, but are almost empty. The griffin has spoken. The griffin has spoken. Silver tankard with some red wine in it. Let us await the results from the chamber below. The griffin has spoken. The griffin the griffin has spoken. The griffin has spoken. Ritual of squabble. All initiates can be defender and accuser. The sword must be borne by any dark hand. Required decorations of the hall. Grim Reaper, never tiring teacher, feeder of mouths. Grim Reaper. Never tiring teacher. Some kind of fucking key thing. Ritual of conflict. The accuser must deeply hate the defender. The sword must be borne by an, any initiate. Uh, never tiring teacher. Keeper of treasures. Mirror of the soul. Nah, we need Grim Reaper and teacher. And like, never tiring teacher. Grim Reaper. Never tiring teeper. Keeper of treasures. Ritual of dispute. Only stewards or higher rank can be defender and accuser. The scepter must be borne by water snake master. Okay. This one's maybe. Ritual of discord. Houses of the accuser and the defender stand behind their brothers. The scepter must be borne by dark hand master. Speaker to the blind. Grim reaper. Keeper of treasures. We're looking at ritual of dispute. Because no one's really standing together this cult is so dumb yeah yeah it's not good i need to know the look masks appropriate to their house but i don't know what changes the outfits they're fucking wearing Because it's actually rank. The outfit, this is their house, this is their rank. So, two people of equal rank died here. If two people of equal rank died, only stewards or higher rank can be defender and accuser. These guys both have to be stewards or higher. So if we punch those in as steward right now, we could say this is master because they're standing in the back and these are initiates. Fuck. Let me try this first. Okay. So it's actually these that are wrong. Which I didn't actually confirm if any of these were right or wrong to begin with. So, uh...
We just have to confirm what these what these different masks actually mean is all. Dark hands, proud beast, water snakes. Brother. Okay, so this guy has to be a proud beast. This has to be proud beast. Which means, but, 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 but I did, but. <clears throat> I may be a fool, but there's still so much more time. Either way, let's do what we can first and foremost. We know this is the ritual of dispute. So let's punch that in. Ritual of dispute. We don't know anyone's name, but I don't think we actually need names. We just need their ranks. I think. But we do have names here. Fuck. Bro, it just wants me easy, dude! Come on, bro! So what's this ritual down here? Explain. What's the ritual here? He's desperate to not be late. I have an hour. Okay. We know this guy is a proud beast. So it has to be either an inception ritual. Can't be evaluation. Can't be transition. Either be inception or admission. Snell! Snell. Snell. Okay. I know it. Inception. Wait, no. Fish. Water. At three. Fuck, this doesn't narrow it down. No, this guy's eating food. That doesn't mean time. Fire? The fuck does that mean? But what the fuck is a star? Fuck. It's not the chat. Of course. It's not the ritual of inception. It's the ritual of ad. 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 That one's harder to do. By any master. Is green actually masters? No. It can't be. Any master. I don't understand the fire thing. This doesn't make any sense. He has no mouth like in the Matrix, which is a fire movie. The fuck did you just say? What? Oh, my fucking stream lagged for a second, chat. I didn't move, so maybe you didn't notice. But my chat lagged out, even though I can still see it in chat arena. I fixed it. Hmm. Hey, dude, can I just see your back? Look, we know this guy's a proud beast. If 
brother proves himself, he can vouch for the newcomer. If the newcomer survives the appropriate trial, he will join our ranks. He may join- It's gotta be admission! It's admission, which means this guy's a master. No, something else is wrong. Something else has to be the problem. It's not that this is wrong, it's that something- This is initiate. And this is steward. No, something else. Dude, it's gotta be something else. I'm telling you, man. I'm fucking telling you. Hang on, let me go back out to that clown outside. You got anything else on you, bozo? What's up with that hat? Well, I'm going to punch in the stuff I can punch in. But I can't punch... Hey, hey. Crowd beast. Water snake. Water snake. Dark hand. Dark hand. a way to like check shabby coat formal. a clean new coat neither of this guy's coats Shabby formal coat. I don't know why this guy has two bags. Look, where am I missing like a block somewhere? to receive what you have earned. Well, I, I can only assume... that... this is the absence of... S wait. Why is he... But why is he naked? What does this fucking mean? It's not water. Could it be snails? No, because one is snails. This can't be time. This can't be anything to do with time. I just don't, I don't believe it. I, I just don't believe it. I'm, I'm doubling back on my original plan, dude. I'm doubling back. It doesn't make any sense. I'm doubling back. I got to double back. Because the fire... I just don't... This one is so confusing to me, the, the second one. The second one just makes so little sense on either of these. The time one makes zero sense, so it has to be fire. The time one doesn't make any sense. And the master thing wouldn't add up either. So this has to be a proud beast dude. It has to be. If I could just get this part fucking done, my 
everything would everything would make sense in my life again. But obviously the masters are going to be these ones. They're the ones carrying cool items. So this has to be initiate. Alright, there we go. We now know everyone's ranks and what they mean. Let's punch this in. Water snake, water snake, dark hand, dark hand, water snake, initiate, steward. I don't think we actually do it like this. I think obviously we're getting names on these people, but we can at least punch in these first. Well, we know it's a ritual dispute. Water snake, initiate. Dark hand steward, water snake steward, dark hand initiate. Crappies master, water snake master. Am I a nitwit? Water snake initiate, check. Dark hand steward, check. Does it have to be like conflict or something? No, because it has to be. Dispute. Only two or less slots need to change. It's because, you know what I think it is? Someone in here is an actual named character. Is what I'm thinking. I think one person is isn't a dark hand initiate. They are a dark hand initiate outfit, but who it actually is is a person outside. So what we do is we go outside. Dark hand initiate. Because we know David Gorin tied up this guy. David Gorin tied. This is Walter Keen, I think. And they're currently tied up. Because David Gorin is in here. It's David here who is. Poison the wine or maybe set the thing. I think it's David here. Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right. So this guy's Lazarus Hurst. And that's a proud beast steward. And this isn't the ritual of admission. That's the ritual of inception. It means all we have to do now is finish the side. Okay. Blank was blank to a blank ritual. He, along with blank, ambushed blank. Blank posing as blank, blank to blank with a blank which blank had no blank. Blank blank the other blank and died. Meanwhile, blank passed the blank ritual to become blank. Crappies. Initiate. Passed the inception ritual. Lazarus Hurst. I love going backwards, dude, every time. The other cup. drink. Meanwhile, water snake snew steward. <laughs> water snake steward. Drank the other cup and died. Okay. This part's the this part's the messy part. Challenged. 
Okay, so Walter Keen was challenged to a dispute ritual. He along with blank along with David Gorin ambushed Dark Hand Initiate. David Gorin posing as Dark Hand Initiate signaled to Walter King I need to go back to the actual setting this part's messy this part's gonna need to be cleaned up Walter Keen was challenged to a dispute ritual. That is correct. I believe. That part is correct. He, along with David Gorin, yep, both of their bags were outside. This is David's bag. This is Walter's bag. He was the one who had these drawings of hats, and he left his hat outside. He, along with David Gorin, ambushed Dark Hand Initiate. David Gorin, posing as Dark Hand Initiate, signaled to Walter Keen with a Squabble, which blank had no blank. Signaled to with a something to show which tank, which cup had no poison. You always have to figure out. Two slots. Are We're close. Inches away. Snaracy. Signaled with a squabble. God, I hate this snail cult, dude. I fucking hate this. We're sn inches away. Everyone, shut up! Shut up! Now I'm trying to focus! The scroll has been fulfilled. After being challenged to a ritual with potentially deadly consequences, Walter conspired with David to devise a plan which would ensure his own safety. They captured a brotherhood member on his way to the gathering. David took his costume so that during the ritual of dispute, he could indicate to Walter which cup was poisoned. Therefore, Walter chose a safe cup and his opponent drank the poisoned one and died. Damn, I'm good at gaming, dude. Fuck, I'm one of, I might even be the best at gaming, but you know, every every gamer's got to stop gaming one day, and my time to stop gaming is right fucking now. I'm done. I need to eat food before D&D &D today. I got D&D &D over at Brett's channel in 40 minutes, chat. But this game was fucking awesome. I had a lot of fun playing this. Like, uh, genuinely, uh, I don't know. Mods obviously did a lot of work to help with keeping the back seating down for me so I could enjoy it. But uh, I also, it was just a lot of fun, dude. I, I really enjoyed that game. I'm going to probably beat it off stream. Enjoy the last of it deduction wise on my own. I will be back tomorrow at the usual time. So keep an eye out. Uh, the Areve, thanks for the five gifted subs.
I missed a lot of notifications today. If I whiffed something from someone, uh, I'm very sorry. I truly wasn't looking at chat for most of the stream because uh, no matter how fast the mods are, uh, someone could yell something and I would see it before they deleted it. So if like gifted subs came through at any point during the stream, I whiffed it. There's just simply nothing I could do. I did not want to get stuff spoiled. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much for coming on by. I'm going to be playing... Uh, I. Snungeons and, sn and snaggins uh, over Brett's channel right now well not right now uh, in like 40 minutes but I'm going to send you guys over there now just so you know where it's going down so I'll see you when I see you over there I'll be back tomorrow at the usual time so keep an eye out goodbye